Hello, everyone. Hi. How are you guys doing? I really hope I'm not bothering my right now. Because <laughs> we're just testing out some audio stuff. Hello, people. Hi, cookies. Hello, Maxim. Oh no, Maxim's saying that he would watch the that the, he would watch the pod. Um. Hello, hello, Papa. Hello, Papa. Hi, Anna Orlando. Hello, Tiberian Fiend. Hi, guys. If I sound a little bit weird, it's because uh, I'm still hesitant of the audio issues. No issues. We were just testing out stuff. I, we're pretty sure that we figured it out, but it's a first time experience with some of this configure. Dude, Kai, we'll just ships in one day. Yeah. It wasn't, it wasn't my plan, but I am dumb. <laughs> uh, it wasn't, it wasn't my plan? Oh no, oh no, I think I'm, I think, I think I'm bothering my, I am bothering my. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. I'll, I'll, I'll help her figure it out. Uh, you're busy today, Lady Alicia. Yes, quite busy. Um, but can your chat hear me? <laughs> I can. I just, I'm just wondering how to properly do this. <laughs> Hi, welcome, welcome, welcome. I think my chat can hear you now. Can you guys hear my? Hi. <laughs> Hi. Hello everybody, good morning, good morning, good morning, it's 8 a.m. here. And good good night for people I on my... Uh, actually, there's nobody on my time zone quite yet. <laughs> quite yet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good, good morning everybody, good morning. My, my is gonna, you know. My hello, is Louis. About my, my from, from, from my chat, hello, Louis. <laughs> Yes, hello. It's 2 a.m. here, Mura Daisuke. Uh, thank you for coming, but please, 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 uh, please rest. Hi, please rest. Living Dreamer, hello. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Oh, and good hello, morning. Satsuna. Satsuna, sorry. <laughs> She's very quiet. Okay. Stop that. Uh, it's 7 p.m. where I am. Uh, I'm damn sleepy. 8 p.m. Gang United. Hi. Morning United. Oh, hold on. Of you, <laughs> horny bastards. The questions that you're too scared to ask in real life. This is anonymous. Don't be afraid. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. If you guys, if you guys want to submit the question, I've pinned it in my in my channel, uh, Alicia's channel. I'm not sure. Oh, uh, I don't have it. it I don't Discord. have it. But I'll just I'll go and pin it right now. I hadn't I hadn't realized I, I'm pretty I'm pretty bad at this Q and H stuff, but don't worry, I'll pin it right away so that everyone can uh, everyone can send their questions. Hi. If they have any. Five p Thank you for Indonesian for waking up at eight eight AM or maybe you're listening to me as you work. Thank you very much. You're very quiet though. Oh my god. Hi, Mo! And oh no, I'm so sorry, Tiberian, that your internet is dying. Maybe it's mine. Is everyone else having issues? Are you having issues with my model? My. Because. <laughs> I might be having issues. Can you hear me? Oh no. I usually wake up at 5 a.m. Why would you wake up at 5 a.m., Ranga? Please, please enlighten me. Please enlighten me! Mai! 
Hi. Okay, she can hear me. You can hear me. <laughs> Hi. Hi. It was uh for a moment there. It seemed like my stream had died. Oh no no no! It worked. It worked. But you can hear me. So uh, uh, I hope everyone else can hear me too. Hi, let me go to your stream real quick. Uh, actually, I, no, that's a bad idea. Because, I pinned the I pinned internet. the marshmallow. Hi, thank you. I did the thing. <laughs> How is everybody doing today? Are you not excited that we have we have a snake? Let me let me show you her her. <laughs> look at that, guys. You see it? You see it? Look at how cool. You ex you She's excited that we managed to finally collab? <laughs> I know. Wait, where is Dario? Ah, oh, Dario is on your time zone too. Dario, yeah. Uh, he's uh, he said he was maybe having family around, so. Uh -huh. So he had, uh, yeah, he's exactly on my time zone, so like the, the exact same place. Mm, 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 mm. Hi, Six Win, how are you doing? Hi, Miguel. Good morning. Oh, Good morning, someone, in my, someone in my chat, Maya, is saying, if I may say it, my sounds sexy. Wait until you hear her sing. <laughs> Arara, do you like my sexy voice? Arara, Arara. <laughs> <laughs> He's very cute. Marius, why are you awake so early? Yaranga simp. Imagine waking up to an anime girl. Oh wait, that's me. <laughs> I'm fine with excited with snake girl. Of course, your your mind would be everywhere, right? Hold on, guys, is, is am I clipping? Am I clipping? Is my I can, voice too loud? I can I can hear Oh, on your stream. Oh by the way, hello Ismael, hello Rafael, hello Tom Thomas. I was oh, I was saying too Rafael. many I was saying too oh. too many names with this. Good morning, see you guys. Good morning. Hey, um, for uh, calf calf, is my voice clipping? And is the volume uh, balanced with uh, with my snake girl Alicia? Uh, hello. All this is double. okay. Good, 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 good. That that was a that was a hello for testing purposes. <laughs> oh, yeah. YouTube is not receiving enough video to maintain smooth streaming. I'm having internet issues, guys. Cause, cause. Oh no! Lord forbids I have one collab that goes well. <laughs> And that happens to me all the time, so don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I hope at least the VOD will come out nice if it if it if it struggles too much. It's good. Daisuke will be doing it in a second. The marshmallow. Should we should we start? Should yes. We start with the marshmallow. I think so. Right, let me let me let me pick up one from from the oldest. <laughs> this question is so funny. What is your first name? Sumbaid, welcome, hello. I'm a new viewer. Welcome, hi. Or... And hello, Gillian. Hi. Sorry, I didn't see you before. Sounds... What game are you playing? What way? Okay, okay, okay. This one Do we have one? one? Do we have one? We have a lot. We have a lot today. <laughs> we have a lot today. You guys ready? Shoot. Guys, ready? Okay. Shoot, 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 first shoot. One. Are you okay? Yes, shoot! Shoot the question! Oh, hi, hi. <laughs> In what way does a woman want to be confessed? Ooh, that's a good one. That's a good one. You know, I think I've imagined many scenarios. Uh, and, and of course it depends on the woman. But, you know, if... if I don't. I don't know about you, Mai. You correct me if I'm wrong. But if it's someone that you're yeah. close with, like someone that you've known for a long time, wouldn't it be nice if it was, like, in 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 a situation that is normal, but, like, for example, let me paint a picture. Let me paint a picture. For example, you're meeting with friends, and there's a lot of people in the room, but it's it's a quiet moment where people are just like 
chatting between other people and she's kind of like looking at her phone or alone in a way and then he comes and steals her away for one second and then he says that he likes her and and everyone is there but at the same time they're not because it's just a private moment between the two of them doesn't that sound nice i mean that is one way what 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 about you you you, you what are your ways Yeah, uh, all right. Uh, my hold on, rhombus, rhombus, be careful. And various, yes, it depends on the person. But for my, for my, I like straight. Wait, my voice is clipping. I like straightforward guys. Straightforward, like he will tell you, hey, yeah. I want to date you. Yeah, something like that. Nah, something like, <laughs> uh, hey. Uh, I really, it would be so nice if we can meet together. Mm -hmm. It would be my privilege. Do you think I have a chance? Something like that. I like that. I like that a lot. Because, I don't know, I'm not good with chit-chatting. I'm not really good at it. I, I just go straight to the point and everything. <laughs> but something but like I don't that, know. I if like the that. question is asked by a, uh, by a teenager, I think the approach would be different. What do you think? Mm, for a teenager, I think it could be... Ooh, a note could be cute. Don't you think? A note in... Not, yeah, not, yeah. not a note passed down on the desk in the middle of like math class. That would be kind of like... Not, not, the, not the greatest moment. But like maybe... Ooh, sleeping a note... Actually, what am I saying? What am I saying? What? A, how? How about I flip this question? I once proposed to one of my crushes. Once. Hey, yes. Okay. Ha, and and, let's, let's and it, I did it. it. And I did it in the way I think I would have liked to be proposed. And this this is about the notes thing. Um. So I I wrote this very elaborate note, just 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 confessing basically. And I waited until, um, I don't remember if it was that I was leaving on, or they were leaving, whatever, I don't remember. But I remember that at the last possible second, I left it on their backpack. And then just ran to my place <laughs> and waited. You, wait, 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 you deleted it? I, it, was a, it was a note, a handwritten note in actual paper. <gasps> Wow, that's Little Women style. Have you seen Little Women? No, I haven't. <laughs> if I stole it, oh. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, you didn't steal it. Uh, many, many, many have stopped on that. Good morning, Zaro. Good morning. Good morning, darling. My darlings have been doing this every day. That's true. They, these boys, they like to tease me. They wanted to key up. Uh, they wanted to marry my, and I'm like, no, man, I, I marry myself. <laughs> <laughs> but. But I think for teenagers, because teen girls watch, right? Yeah. They, I think they wanted, they wanted it to happen in their life, as in what what's in the chick flick or girly movies. I think that's what they wanted to happen in life, right? Ooh, what if you if you knew their her favorite uh, scene? It's a book, says Tiberian. Well, it's the, it has several movie adaptations. Um, have you read Little Women? My the book, the actual book. The I have not read it. I have not read it. But, yeah, but me I've neither. Seen the movie. I, but I haven't seen the movie. Either. Yeah, I'm not human, but recently I've become human because I become a human because I wanted to be a YouTuber. I am from Indonesia, but I'm an EMB tuber, so we do have an Indonesian friends. Hello, selamat datang everybody, selamat datang teman-teman. Hi, and this is my friend! Hello! Do you want to introduce yourself? Hi! <laughs> yes! Hi! I am Alicia Nikos. I'm a, I'm a Lamia, as you can maybe see. <laughs> Um, and yeah, I, I became a VTuber when I discovered the, the, okay, so I discovered the world of humans, uh, which had always been very dangerous according to our legends. Uh, but, but turns out, my, I don't know if you've seen this, but humans actually seem to really like monster girls on the internet. 
So I, I suddenly felt that I would be safe between humans and I would be safe on the internet. Maybe humans aren't as dangerous as the legends, eh? Um, so I decided to meet people and uh, come, come to the internet to gather positive energy from those who aren't afraid of us. A lot of people are afraid of us, Monster Girl. We're, we're not dangerous, guys. We're not dangerous. <laughs> oh, hello, Miguel. Welcome, welcome, Miguel. Uh, yes, monsters are not dangerous, everyone. Hi no, DB, welcome! Oh yeah, some of my some of my people might be going to your stream because my internet issues are sucking. So everyone, oh, my no. has a stream. <laughs> my has a stream as well oh, if you no. want to watch that. <laughs> oh, no. Hello Chris and Miguel, is this your first time here? Is this your first time here, Miguel? No, um, I was gonna say something. Yes, you know, uh, monster girls are not dangerous, everybody. You know what's dangerous? Do you know what's dangerous? Obsession. Yes. <laughs> very, very dangerous. Very, very uh, bad. Oh. Do we have another uh, question? We have a lot of questions. I'm looking at it. Mm, won't we? Ah. Hi, my <laughs> this one is funny. This one is funny. Okay. Ignorance is yes. Ignorance is very dangerous, but simps are not dangerous. Mm -hmm. <laughs> are you know? Maybe. Promise. <laughs> hey, you guys. Do you know what help? Do you know what we do when we have a new person? Well, let me do that later because I have I have a friend here, so. <laughs> normally, Miguel, normally we sing when we have a new person. But because today is collab, so I don't want to waste Alicia's, Alicia's time. So I'll, I'll sing later before I... Yeah. Okay, the second question. How is it... How does it feel to have Boing Boing? And would you let them... Oh, would you let me... Uh, would you let touch them if I'm sad? Oh, okay, okay. How does it feel to have Boing Boing? And would you let me touch them if I'm sad? <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, to, to the second part of the question. Um, no. Don't be a creep. <laughs> it, that's, that's a really weird... Uh, you know what I can do if you're sad? I can share my chocolate with you. How about that? Is that a good deal? <gasps> Hello, Dick Extra. Welcome. Oh, Dream. Also, did I did I greet you? Welcome. <laughs> uh, how does it feel to have Boing Boing? Okay, so guys, guys, this is just this is just an FYI, you know. Uh, Boing Boing is nice. It's very nice, but if it's too large, it's going to hurt your back. Yeah. Really, it's gonna hurt your back, especially when you run. It's gonna be almost impossible to run with really huge boing boing if you don't wear layers of sport bra. Yeah, yeah. sport bras are so important. Oh my god, going down the stairs with boing boings is uh, it, it can be a yes. nightmare. <laughs> yes. And just just a TMI thing, guys. It's not a TMI because you guys. I mean, they're the asking. Want to hear about this? <laughs> there, yeah. When you're on your, you know, when you're on your period, it gets worse. It gets worse. <laughs> it gets worse, everybody. It gets worse. So you think that boing boing is nice and everything? It gives you back problem when it's too big. Okay, you guys listen to this. It might look nice, but no, it's torturing if it's too big. It's um, it, it can be painful if you're doing a lot of moving. Okay, so how does it feel? It feels it feels painful when when uh, when you're moving a lot, when you're jumping or when you're going down the stairs without a sports bra. And I'm gonna be honest, my this is this is an honest stream, right? Um, mm -hmm. it's kind of nice to have when you're bored and you need to do something with your hands, cause it. it, it mm. I, I don't know if you do this, but I'll, I'll just like move them around just because it's it's like something to do with my hands that isn't biting my nails. Uh, hey. if, I, if I don't have a fidget cube or something like that, I can just like move my... Yeah, 
like do the do the whole they're called boing boings for a reason i can boing boing them with my fingers so that i don't do like bad stuff to my fingers like like biting my nails that's how i have my nails long <laughs> Let me greet a few people. Hello, Thedicta. Hello, uh, hello, Azurel. Welcome, welcome. We're talking about, yeah, we're talking about uh, wholesome things today. Yes, and hello, Flavio, and hello, DB. Did I say hello, DB? And hello, Ghost Winds. <laughs> I think oh, I, I said hi to for everyone. For the Get to it unless enough for the curse wine. You can put cup it in them. Uh, this is very important. <laughs> Yes, guys. Yes, guys. And can you touch them on... Yeah, same... Same answer as Alicia. And hello, Alec. Yes, very and wholesome, Did I say hello, Flavio? Welcome. <laughs> okay, sorry uh, if that on, was too I... much information. Sorry if that was too much information. Uh, but... Hold on, give me one second. I need yes. to get my charger real quick. But go ahead. Okay. Well, while Mai gets her charger. I'm sorry if that was too much information. Um... You you might you might if you are a, a adult video recordings connoisseur you might imagine something very different from what I mean I mean literally like like hmm, no a stress ball is more like a pinching and grabbing stuff I'm imagining it like like hmm is there anything not booba that you do the same thing with. Uh, okay, yeah, I know. Have you ever <laughs> have you ever had a, a pillow that is like a bean bag? That that has like a pillow that has like that have you my ever had a pillow that has like a lot of little uh like plastic balls inside of it so that it's all soft and mushy? <gasps> oh no I have not, but I, I know what you mean. I know what you mean. Yeah, there are there's these pillows that are so like if they're like a, like a bean bag, um, just imagine having one of those attached to your chest, but it's also heavy. That is all. That that's how I'll describe oh. it. <laughs> oh, that's not that's not bad. That's not bad. That's pretty good. Right? That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I think that's I think that's the best way to describe it. Yeah, yeah, that's that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Hi, should we move on to another question? Yes, also the Kev, welcome. Hi, he's saying I'm learning a lot. I didn't know this was a virtual class too. <laughs> Very educational. We're, we're getting educational here, my. <laughs> we are, we are. Let me... Modest oh, Narcissus, okay, welcome. Is... Hi, hello, what are we talking about? We are answering questions that you guys uh, are too afraid to ask girls in real life. So this is anonymous. Uh, the link is pinged in the chat if you want to send a question. We're talking about discovery of the world. Hi. Uh, Squishing your cheeks you like a fish. Is it similar? Yes. The chat will offer to hold them up. <laughs> I'm back. My internet is dead. Huh? Welcome back. And yummy. Did I did I greet you already? Okay. Next question. Preference trait of boy. Trade. I like yeah, trait. trait. Oh, 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 oh. Hmm. What do you think? I think there are many. Do I have to choose one? No, I think you can you can elaborate a bit. Just pick a few. Um okay, when 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 a guy is like and, and my chat is not gonna be surprised about this. It's not gonna be surprised. But when a guy is kind to people, instead of having to show how much, like, how much more of a man he is than other people. Like, I met, I met guys who made everything a competition, and like, they had to be the one that makes everyone laugh harder than the other guy, or they had to mm. be the one who got the, gre the, the, the best uh, grades in sports. That's not how sports mm -hmm. work. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Thank you, Thedicta. Thank you so much for the donation. Thank you. Well, ah, okay, go ahead. Um, <laughs> but yeah, the, the like when a guy is too desperate to show that he's the best person in the room, oh, that's uh, yeah, you know, yes. like mm, no. So I, I'd rather have someone who's like kind to people around him, who who makes you feel like safe. That's 
That's a good trait. My, my chat is probably not surprised. They talk about being kind a lot. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I, I also agree, but I, a lot of this stuff, I think the one that you mentioned, it, it happens a lot in teenage boys. Yeah. It happens a lot in teenage boys, because cause teenage boys are like, eh, uh, uh, all they know is, is just sport and school, so everything's a competition, like what you said. I think, uh, I think the thing is when someone is trying too hard, to seem like they're the best person in the room, it, it tells mm. me that they don't believe, like, that they don't feel that way. They just want others to believe that. And that tells me it's... Now, here's the thing. It doesn't tell me that they are a bad person. It doesn't. But it tells me that they need to... They need to still... Uh, not grow gr up and not grow no uh, but like they need to love themselves a bit more you know like they they still mm -hmm. have a, a little bit of loving to learn because it's not easy to like to to learn to love yourself uh but in the end it makes you a, a more confident person and that shows that just shows mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah no, that's true i i also like uh, I like smart boys, but mm. the, uh, those who are humble. You're so smart that you're humble, that kind of person. Uh, yeah, like the person who, uh, when you when you ask a question, they can almost always help you with it, but they're not constantly trying to show off how smart they are. Yeah, so not a know-it-all person. I think. Yeah. I like those kind of people. Oh, no, you know what? Someone who's very passionate about something. One thing or two things, doesn't matter. But like, someone who's really passionate about a thing. When they talk mm. about that thing, it's just so attractive. Even if I don't know anything mm. about it, it's like, I'll hear someone talking about whatever they're passionate about for three hours. Oh, oh, uh, to me, to me, if they speak like that for hours, uh, to me, it's a turn off, actually. <laughs> so guys, see, see, this is this. Uh, everyone is different, guys. Everyone is different. Uh, and Talok, welcome, welcome, Talok. Can I sing for Alicia? You can, you can. <laughs> uh, nerdy ah! humble boy. Hi, nerdy humble thank boy. Thank you, Thetic, uh, so for the donation. Thank you. I don't know who you are. Who are you? Wait, wait, wait. The dictus from my play. Mm. <laughs> thank you, Zenita, for the donation. And thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um. So you see, uh, guys, this is this is absolutely subjective because people are different. For uh, Alicia, she likes people who are passionate. I do like people who are passionate, but if if they speak for hours, I don't like it. <laughs> but for Alicia, she likes it. She likes it when boys are, are passionate about something and they they like to discuss about it uh, <laughs> for for hours. Yeah, yeah. So that's see see guys, it's different between people. Um, hello, Sora. Welcome. Um, so another thing, I think we can both agree. I don't know if we're gonna both agree. What if we didn't? But like a guy who can dance, sing, or play an instrument. Oh, Michael Bublé, everybody. Michael Bublé in a nutshell. But 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 like right? If they if they can capture. Okay, I'm not a I'm not a bird. I'm a snake. But birds know what they're doing with their mating rituals. When 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 a guy can dance. I feel like 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 a bird uh, being being uh, captivated by a by a bird who's trying to get it on. You know what I mean? Ah, hi, Chris Cheeseman, welcome. Hi, uh, the, thank you for the donation. <laughs> Sorry, I get startled when I get donated sometimes. Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you for nice, the donation. Welcome. Congratulations. <laughs> Stella, hello, welcome. The Ravenger God, my melody might is Vila Claire and Gomenasa. <laughs> Gomenasa. Hi. Uh, and we'll, oh, what's funny is that you mentioned you mentioned the notebook. You <laughs> mentioned the notebook. And in the notebook, the girl was like, I'm a bird. I'm a bird. 
<laughs> she is? I, I, I forgot so much about that movie. <laughs> it's because, you know, when you don't like something... You remember you, you it. Kinda... Yeah, and I don't like the notebook. I, I don't like the notebook, uh, and I remember the parts that I hated the most. <laughs> oh. There's there's a part in Which the notebook. One? Uh, the, uh, besides the part that I mentioned before, there's a part where he just uh, decides to start stargazing in the middle of the street. He just lays down in the middle of the street, and she's like, "This is dangerous. Yeah, We're in yeah, the middle yeah, of the street." Yeah. And he's like, "So what?" I was like, "What? What do you mean, so what? Get out of there. Go to the grass. You can stargaze in the grass, safe." I just. I just don't like that movie. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was so dramatic, hey. <laughs> uh, what what are, what other right, traits do you uh, do you have any other traits that you oh. like? Okay, okay, okay. Um I like guys who obey. <laughs> Come to my basement. I like guys who can come to my basement. What do you think, guys? Ah, <laughs> uh, well, okay, okay. Let me, let me. Eh, what was that? What was that? Where is my widget? Why I can't see my widget? Who donated? Oh, it broke for me the other day too. I don't know how I fixed it. I'm sorry. <laughs> let me check. Let me check real quick. Uh. Uh, Chris Cheese Man, thank you very much. Thank you very much for the donation. I appreciate it. I agree, the uh, notebook is a little bit too extra for me. Same. Also, hi, Mim. How are you doing? Well, I want to go to the next question then, Mai? Or do you want to... Do you have another treat? Oh, yeah, no. Me, when, you said... Oh, you said, you said, when they can obey. <laughs> when they... When you can obey? When you can come to the basement? Okay, so, so, Mai. <laughs> as for Mai, 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 Mai. I do like boys who, who can obey, who knows what, you know, who, who can listen to me and, and do as I say. <laughs> but for the person behind my and mine combined, I like, honestly, I, I like quite, uh, I like talented guys. I do, I mm. really do. Oh, I like diligent guy, diligent guy. I love diligent guy. I think, yeah. What? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I diligent. So, so they they work hard. Oh, they, hardworking. Mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I, I like it. I like it. Yeah, mm. because that means that you are, and you don't mind any work that you're doing, which means that you're humble enough mm. to do it. Mm. I like I like those kind of, and I like guys who are not insecure. Because insecurity is toxic, so toxic. It's it's dangerous, dangerous. Yeah, going going back to what I said first, like if you're trying very very hard to look like you're the best person in the room, that tells me you're not super sure, super secure on yourself, and you need to work on it. It's exactly. not impossible. It's not impossible to work on it. It's not impossible to get better, but but yeah, you need to work. <laughs> Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Uh, can I just test my widget real quick? Yes! Do you want me to mute you for a little bit? No, no, it's okay. Okay, okay let me, let me, let me get up uh, the next question so yes. that you can start answering it as I check it. And welcome, Ender, welcome. Uh, say love, I can play gu guitar with my finger and I can play piano and play domes. Okay, the question is, can you play guitar with your, f with your toes and then play... <laughs> The piano with your with your hands can you do that can you do that if you can then mwah. yeah that tell him talented to the what max species is my melody my melody my melody is I, a song yeah insecurity kills my melody is I am a, a melody. song yes, i am a melody a melody personified right. oh, exactly exactly but but if you if you're wondering, I am human now because I wanted to be a VTuber, so I'm human. And I was not, yeah, that's it. <laughs> Alright, question. Do you girls prefer to wear a long skirt or short ones? Hello, Alex, and by the way. Another... Yes, and... Hello, welcome. Yes. What, what other question? Uh, 
Hi. Uh, do you do you girls prefer wearing long skirt or short ones? Hmm. Uh, well, I I prefer. Hmm. Okay. So in my case, it's less about the length and more about the fabric. If it's flowy, mm. if it's like a flowy, like a really. It will fall down when you're not moving, but then it will move very easily when you're moving. Like I'll I'll take that long sh long skirt any day. Oh, I love the feeling of a uh, I love the feeling of the of the fabrics um, flowing with my movement. So long skirts are great for that. You know. Um, and short skirts, they can be good too, but the fabrics that work with short skirts are a lot less. Because uh, mm. there are short skirts that are very tight to the body, and those are very uncomfortable for me. Mm. Like like a bodycon thing? Yeah, yeah. You know, like I, I, don't, I don't like that. And for you humans, yeah. tight tight fabrics how, how do you guys do it when when you have legs that you need to open and close to walk like how, how uh, if the skirt is tight isn't that super uncomfortable i think i've said this before my stream. yeah yeah it's i don't like tight skirt i don't think i well i have one or two tight skirt just to uh, accentuate my waist mm -hmm. I, I think it's feminine uh, girl's waist is feminine, I think it's sexy, so when I wanted to kind of accentuate that, I, I, I wear it. And welcome Miguel, welcome. Mm. Uh, yeah, so... <laughs> I no, think you look to look a bit feminine, I'd use it, I'd use it. You know the skirt, the, the kind of skirt I'm using right now uh, is actually... Uh, because it's pretty flowy, but doesn't... So I said before, skirts like me, fabrics that you. flow very, very well um, are better for long, sh long skirts that are very flowy are my favorite. But skirts like this that are going to like flow pretty well, but they're also kind of like uh, they're not gonna move that much. The fabric is a bit mm, heavier. That's 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 very nice for short skirts. I actually really like short skirts that are a bit like heavier fabrics. Yeah. I've tested the, the donation it works. Okay. Yeah, you guys can see. You guys can see Alicia's like right now. I'm I'm, I'm showing everybody your your skirt. Snake skirt. Hi, snake skirt. Melody is a song. So. <laughs> hi, hi, Zella. Hi. Uh, as for me. Oh, my oh you know what the best skirt is what? Alicia. what you know the one with pockets <gasps> the one with pockets oh my god how did i not think of that yes you know uh, boys boys think about about stuff like oh girls girls want uh you know boys blah 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 girls want this no man we just want skirts with we pockets. want skirts That's with pockets want. and dresses with yeah, pockets exactly. Exactly, Actually, exactly. I'll, I'll race you, I'll race you. We want, we want skirts with pockets and dresses with pockets that are actually big enough for a cell phone. Yes, I agree, I agree, absolutely. Yeah, so guys, when you, when, oh, when you don't know what to give a girl, find something with pockets. Find a dress with pockets and even if she doesn't <gasps> like the actual dress, she will like it. She will, yes. she will at least consider using it. I guarantee. Yes. Like I've, yes. I've, I've literally considered buying dresses I didn't like because they had pockets and they were actual pockets and not just sewn in. I'm sorry. Did you, did you ever encounter those fake pockets that they look like pockets, but you try to put your hand in and they are sewn in? Yes. That that's like that's like having cookie tin. What do you call that? Cookie tin? Is it tin? Yeah. The one that the, the a can, cookie can, and then you open it's fish. <laughs> yes. Fish. No, it's 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 sewing needles. Sewing needles and threads. You open the cookie tin yes. and it's freaking sewing needles. Good morning, Bigram. Good morning. What topic? Hi, uh what an oh, elf. Oh my people, maybe I'm not an elf. I'm not an elf. <laughs> I'm I'm a melody Bigram. 
Uh, skirts with pockets is rare. It is very, very rare. Uh, living dreamer taking note. Oh, hi. <laughs> Cookie jar. No, um, okay, Asian. Asian. Asian friends. You know that we have ice cream. Ice cream uh, bucket, right? Ice cream container. And then you open it. It's fish. Who's with me, guys? <laughs> Ranginang jar. <laughs> Hello, Yasuko. Welcome. And 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 Dominic is saying it's kind of a temperature thing too. No, you can wear short skirts in summer and long skirts in winter. Um, mm. Tell me what you think about you this, Mai. But I actually prefer wearing long skirts, the flowy, very light fabric long skirts in summer. I actually really like wearing maxi skirts uh, with flowy fabrics on summer. What do you think? Okay, uh, oh, this is good. My is the Asian version while Ellie is the Western version. Hi, my, uh, where Ellie have a sewing needle, my has a fish <laughs> in an ice cream bucket. Fish, guys, fish, it's disgusting. Okay, for skirt, for skirt, uh, wait, uh, you're saying, uh, okay, I like short skirt, actually. You like short more? Like short. Yeah, because I'm short. So if I make, if I wear maxi skirt, I I look shorter. Mm. <laughs> yeah, but but when it's winter, when it's winter, I mean, long skirt is. I mean, I still like short skirts, but with with stockings underneath. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't I don't get to use stockings because I'm a snake. But that's that's the true that's the true deal. Short skirts with. Uh, very very warm leggings on winter and long skirts of flowy fabrics on summer that's mm. Mm. along that along that line hold on i think i accidentally closed it let me check setsuna i stand board. setsuna is saying i stand with females that they got the short end of the stick when it comes to pockets thank you thank you for standing with us yes one day we yes. one day we will and make I the fashion industry suffer for what they've done. <laughs> I, I agree. <laughs> oh, but I think yeah, I think yeah, I think in in Asian culture we wear short. So okay, okay. Please correct me, guys. Please, uh, my chat because we have a lot of Asian my my chat and and those of the Western culture in my chat. Uh, in we wear shorter underneath, so so our, our not underneath, our shorter shorts. So so our skirt is shorter, our shorts are shorter, but we don't show too much cleavage. Mm. Mm. So so we kind we kind of cover up up here. As for Western culture, I see that you wear something long, but you show cleavage a lot, a shoulder. As for us, I think. I think we, we wear short skirts, but on top, I think we're a bit, you know, we're we're a bit covering those those parts. I don't know. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? And well, I've seen I've seen everything. Honestly, I've seen everything. I've seen girls who wore transparent blouses with nothing underneath, not no not even a bra. Oh my god! Yeah, I I've seen I've seen I've seen it all. But granted, I did try to study fashion, so so yeah, you I would see it all. <laughs> also, wait, the no pockets is a fashion oh, choice, says awesome. Miguel. Yes, Miguel, it's a fashion choice because if we don't have pockets, we need to buy purses, and if we need to buy purses, we need to combine them with the clothes. Hi. You see, you see how it works. It's extortion. It's just extortion. Oh. <laughs> and welcome, Dario. Welcome Dario. Uh, yeah, hi. And uh, yeah, the dicta agreed. I know women like strong. Uh. Welcome Vakram. Welcome. Hi. Uh, Thaylock, please, please put your question. Thaylock, please put your question in in the one pin. Though I pinned the link. Please put it in there. Yes, questions on the marshmallow. Uh, so along please. that question, along along skirt question. <laughs> the the other one is, do you girls prefer to wear? A skirt or jeans? It really depends on the situation. If I'm gonna be moving a lot, it has to be jeans. Like if I'm gonna be like sitting down a lot. If I'm going to a picnic, right? On the on the picnic on the grass, I'm I'm gonna choose jeans. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, and by jeans, I mean a uh, long skirt that covers my entire tail. Mm-hmm. Uh, because I have I no legs. <laughs> <laughs> but but I think it depends on how much moving and sitting you're gonna have to do. You know? If it's gonna be just maybe going to the cinema mm. and then for ice cream and you're gonna be sitting only on chairs, a uh, skirt is, a skirt is, you know? It's it's all about the how how feminine one's, yeah. one wants to be as well. That sounds awful and smart. Yeah, it is awful yeah. and smart. Honestly, <laughs> honestly, I don't like both. Ah, it's because because <laughs> I don't really like both. I like I like jumpsuits. I, I love jumpsuits. Oh. I have at least 15 jumpsuits. That's how much I love it. Oh. And because it, it's simple, but it's fashionable. And mm. I like, uh, I don't know, what is it in English? Uh, culottes? Is that a word? Culottes? It doesn't sound familiar to me. I mean, it sounds familiar to me, but oh. in Spanish it means something completely different, I'm sure. Oh, so it's uh, C U L O T T E S. C U L O T T E S. Show this. Oh, show. like this big, big pants that look like a skirt when the legs are closed. Mm -hmm. uh, no, 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 no. Oh, eh, do they look like a skirt? Let me show my chat real quick. Uh, Something like this, guys. Yes, you pull it? it up. Pull it up. I like it because it's pants and it's still flowy. But if I want it to be a bit more fashionable, oh yeah, that. I'd go with, I'd go with jumpsuit. Hmm, hmm. Some of those are designed so that when the legs are closed, it looks like a skirt. Ah. Wow. Wow. Thank you. This is Thank a jumpsuit. You. Thank you, Daisy Cutter. Thank you for the donation. Thank you. Ah, uh, same. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> I I got it too. Thank you. That's very Thank kind you. of you. <laughs> Thank you. Ah, thank you. No, no, they look, they look. No, 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 no. I'm sorry. You can ask questions. You can ask questions, they look. Well, please put it in here so that I can show the chat. I want to show the chat your question, but you have to put it in in here. Don't worry about it. You're not. You're not annoying anybody. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Put it, putting Mike, questions uh, in the marshmallow is, is better because it makes them anonymous. Yeah. So we don't know who's Hi. asking. Hi, Arifra, welcome, welcome. And Miguel says, so in the east it's about covering the top, while the west is about covering nothing. I see a lot of girls not even wearing <laughs> Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, we, uh, I guess, I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> but I think if, if the west wanted to be modest, you guys do um, the lower body part of modesty. Hmm. I I definitely I've definitely seen, I've definitely seen shorts that are that shouldn't even be called shorts. Shorts that are, uh, well, too short. <laughs> too short. <gasps> yeah. Daisy Cutter, welcome to the stream and thank you again for the donation. Thank you. <laughs> Hi, thank you. All right, let me let me put another marshmallow. Dum drum, hello, dum drum, welcome, welcome. Guys, uh, normally when we have new people, I sing, but today it's different, so I'll sing later. Okay. Okay. The question: Which one do you choose? Okay, you gotta you gotta listen to this one because it's kind of long. Which one do you choose for a husband or a wife? Mm -hmm. An insanely dumb but the most perfect looking person by humanities and your standard or the most smartest or also the wisest person on earth but terribly lacking in looks department hmm. if i had to choose one or the other i don't think i could live with someone who's dumb as a rock i mm -hmm. i just i i, mm -hmm. I, I mm -hmm. They're not that, like, obviously you want someone who is balanced, right? Like, you don't want the wisest, mm -hmm. smartest person in there. I don't need that. I'm pretty mm -hmm. dumb myself. We, we, we don't need the perfection on any, any aspects. 
But I don't. You are not dumb. You oh, are believe dumb. me. Oh, believe me, I am. I don't. I, don't worry. I don't say it as a as a bad thing. I'm 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 smart on some areas, but boy, am I dumb in general. Anyways, I don't think I could live with someone who's dumb as a rock. I just don't think I could handle it. I think I would snap. I think I would snap the the moment we are struggling. Like, imagine this. I, let me paint you another picture. I'm gonna paint a lot of pictures today, guys. Um, let me paint you a picture. Something breaks on the house. It's an emergency. What is it? The oven? Okay, I don't know. Yeah, the oven. We cannot cook. And and then and and nothing is open. We can't ask for a new oven. Let's let's just assume something bro breaks horribly and we absolutely need it. And then if I don't know how to fix it, I turn to the other person. They're gonna be like, what? Have you tried turning it in on and off? I would snap. You know, the, 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 the third time that something happens and they just look at me with those dead eyes with nothing behind them. I, 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 I don't think I could handle it. <laughs> and welcome cooks, cooks. Hello, and bird bird, I have dumb syndrome. No, you don't. Adam Dramo, so uh, welcome. Uh, your cookies, cookies, welcome. Hi, uh, let me let me just see too. Hi, uh, to me, here's the thing, guys. Looks can disappear. If you get into an accident, you can just lose it. But a good personality, it stays with you. And if you if you have money and you have a good personality, get a plastic surgery. <laughs> it can be fixed. It can be fixed. Go to Korea. <laughs> Go to Korea, everybody, and get a plastic surgery. It, it's, it, that's enough. But but if you're dumb, if you're dumb, nothing fixes that. Yeah. 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 Honestly, yeah, honestly, but, if I can play yeah. with games, uh, if I can play games with them and watch movies with them, they're perfect for me. Alex, I agree. See, we don't need perfection. We we, we just need someone who's gonna be a, compa a good companion. Wait a second, is Dumb Drum a, a, a bot? What is he doing? Currently playing Switch right now. Have to survive two months to get Joy-Con. Dumb Drum, are you, are you, if you're not a... If you're not a bot, please let me know. If you're, please don't talk about things that have no re uh, that is irrelevant to the chat. Let's not connect with the chat because this is confusing. But if you're a bot, then well, okay, you're not for my looks. Hi, exactly, exactly. Okay, dumb dumb. Okay, uh, yeah, yeah. But even the the smartest, if you're smart and wise, I think it's different because when you have wisdom and you're smart, I think you can. You can use a lot for business, and I, and I think you might be a bit humble because you're wise anyway. Mm. So you kind of know what to do. Mm. <laughs> Someone saying there's a deep-rooted trauma right there, Dominic. Hello, first of all, hello, hi, and hello, Trent. Second of all, how dare you call me out like that? <laughs> <laughs> a talk, honestly. I've, I've dated um, pretty boys. I now, looking back, I don't think I would date any pretty boys anymore. <laughs> Kobe, welcome. Hi. Um, I think I think again the 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 true answer you want is you want a balance, right? You want someone who you will Hi. genuinely like looking at, Hi. but uh, but he, he doesn't need to be a supermodel, right? Yeah. You don't you don't need to be Chris Hemsworth. Uh, you can just be like a normal person, but have mm -hmm. other attributes. Like like we talked before, like instruments, dancing, singing, smart, Hi. kind, passionate, Hi. hardworking, any of those. It, it it can be. And the most important thing is m like matching with the other person. Right? Like, like if you have the same tastes or the same passions, that's where the magic happens. That's really good. Uh, mm -hmm. So you're telling me that there's a chance I might not... No, you're not gonna die alone. Mine will be there when you die. <laughs> 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 just, 
I'm just kidding, kind of not kidding. But don't worry, man. You'll find someone for you. Don't worry. Uh, Thomas, Thomas is saying I would like someone I can have long, interesting conversations with. Would be nice. So Thomas, you also yeah. agree that you would rather have someone intelligent than someone dumb as a rock, because you cannot have long, interesting conversations with someone who's dumb as a rock. Hi. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And my chat says a. Um, why are you flashing? Why are you flashing? Why are you saying a long flash? And uh, intelligence and wisdom are two different things. That's why there's a difference between cleric and um, me. <gasps> Hi, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're talking about DNDs. But if you can have both, if you can have both wisdom and intelligence, I don't know what kind of super, super person are you. Yeah, that have both of it. Uh, we're saying the same thing over here, that smart is quick thinking, wise is good at taking decisions, and then intelligent means learning quickly. But I think the, the question on the marshmallow really was uh, pretty much two extremes, right? It was the two extremes, so we can just, we can conflate all of them into uh, dumb as a rock. Or, or uh, the hi. opposite of dumb as a rock. <laughs> I'm going to die alone. No flash, you are not going to die alone. If you die, Mai is gonna be there for you, okay? Okay. <laughs> uh, There's someone out there for why. everyone. There is I, someone I, out there I, for I, everyone. I, Don't worry about it. I, 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 Mary History Nine. Uh, what is it? Uh, well, I'm a wise person, my yes. I have intelligence, IQ of 90,000, so I guess I'm kind of smart, but I'm still. So I like a dumb truck. Uh, as a friend, is okay, but as a soulmate, no thank you. I agree. I agree. I agree. With I that. agree. Hi, I agree. Yeah. Actually, in my friend group, I'm the dumb friend. So I stop it. No. no wait, wait, bye, bye. I mean it. One of my best friends is a chemist, and the other one is a physicist. But and here I am. <laughs> Guys, please, please, please tell me, my chat especially, do you think Alicia is dumb? I don't think so. I think she's very entertaining. I think she's very nice. I think she she has great public speaking skill. What do you guys think? Um, tell me and I'll read it. <laughs> no, 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 you don't need to. Hey, hey, I also think I, I also think I, all those things that you said, but, but but those but but I'm also dumb and that's okay I'm a I'm a great I'm a great package <laughs> you're one package you're not dumb you're not dumb <laughs> I, I, I'm a package that comes at a discount because of the dumb but everything else is just great <laughs> uh, Alicia is a smarter girl I've ever seen that's a lot I don't know who's saying that I don't know who's saying that. whoever is saying that they didn't see me today doing an entire stream of anti-chamber with zero progress <laughs> no no the dicta says she is cute and a smack a smack <laughs> honestly though if we are talking about physical attributes we like i actually like them on the taller side but i am 205 centimeters so it's a tad hard for me 205 mm -hmm. centimeters <gasps> that's, that's that's really tall that's, that's insanely really tall. tall yeah 205 yeah Dario said oh that that's why that's why he's saying that it's hard because uh, if he wanted to find someone taller than him or someone as tall as him yeah that's oof that's hard mm -hmm. 205 uh, that's pretty that's really tall Uh, Ranga said Alicia is a smart snack. Snack. They love. I seen Alicia. I was at your stream today. Hi. And Dario also say I saw her and she's not dumb. Oh, they're lying uh, to you. They're lying to you. Don't believe them. Hello. No. <laughs> no. Hola. Kev, <laughs> Hola. No. Kev, Kev said her about by her opinions. Yeah, she's smart and wise. <laughs> See, Alicia, you're not dumb. I'm not not gonna believe you. I'm not gonna you know, believe no, you. You know what? You know what? I'll agree with. Uh, I'll agree to wise. I'll agree to wise. I'm not smart, but I am wise. How about that? Uh, can we can we cut a deal? My, can we can we cut a deal? Wise, mm -hmm. not smart. C can you cut I me this deal? <laughs> I wouldn't say you're not smart. Can we say you're decent? 
Can we agree okay, on okay. that one? Okay, 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 fine. Fine, let's, let's do decent. <laughs> <laughs> I'll 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 cut well, I'll, I'll cut you a deal. <laughs> all right. Well, well, we got a song for a snake. Why snakes say only fool rushes? Cause we know. How does it? A snake kills from strangling. Wow. That that was that was. First of all, uh, Chad, you're <laughs> welcome. Now you know. Now you know that my sings. That my sings beautifully. Uh, and no, also, no, no. that was a great rendition of whatever that song was called. Uh, Wiseman <laughs> say... Oh, it's can't, called Falling help. in Love with You, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, that, yeah, that was yeah. that was a beautiful that was a beautiful lyric change. I love that. I, I actually loved yep. that. <laughs> so so the the lyric says only fool rush in because we know that snake kills by strangling and mm -hmm. you can't you can't rush. Because only full Russian, you gotta, you gotta wait until they, they're strangled and that. Sorry, man, I talk about death all the time. <laughs> here's, here's the thing, here's the thing. Humans are scared of us because we have venom and because we're so strong and because we're so fast. Just, just don't, just don't go running uh, straight to us and so we don't get scared of you uh, having bad intentions. Hi. I agree. I agree. Oh, don't, Anor, don't mess with her. Anor from my chat is saying hello to you. He's saying hola, nice hello. to meet you. Hello, welcome, welcome to the stream. It's nice to meet you too. I'm, I'll stop by Alicia's stream once once we're done because if I go now, my internet's gonna go. <laughs> 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 also, Kevos, uh, hi. My melody. Also, and hello. Francis, terima kasih banyak. Thank you for the donation. Thank you, Francis. Hello, Extreme Blue Games. Welcome. Hi. Hi. Anyways, let's and, look. and have a good. Yes. Uh, hi. No, I was just wanna gonna say it to Francis. Have a good day at work. Thank you mm -hmm. so much for stopping by. Mm -hmm. Bye bye. Have a good day at work. Mm. I have another question if you're ready. Another question. This one is, is pretty good. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna go to the bathroom as you answer it if you don't mind. Okay. Or, or do you want me to wait? I, I I can do either. Whatever you want. All right. I'll. So not to waste your time, let me let me let me read it. How can I tell if a girl likes me? I'll I'll run to the oh, bathroom. Oh no! This question. <laughs> well, she runs to the bathroom. I'll I'll say hello to chat. Um. Uh, I'll talk to chat uh, and to both chat. Watch me dual. Watch me dual wheel chat. Uh, um, lol, a five meter tall girl likes them taller. I'm just saying that two meters is tall. I'm not saying that I like them taller. Uh, I can be as tall as I need to be. Therefore, the other person is as tall as they need to be. I think the word genius is just an exceptionally developed skill. Genius is someone with an IQ of 145 or greater. I don't think I've ever met any geniuses. You can be a genius in maths or in music or in sports. I agree with that. Also, let's see what what Melody, what my uh, chat is saying. You can't pull a snake's leg? No, because we don't have any. Uh, I'm not afraid, says Salok. Good. We don't want you to be afraid of us. The snakes chase me? I'm so sorry to hear that. Snakes are not associated with us, not all of us. Uh, I'm not afraid of monster girls. Yeah, Everyone, yeah. everybody, you're not alone. Say something if you're on the same road. Oh, we have plenty yeah, of said. monster boys, monster girl fans. Hello, Melody. My, sorry, I keep calling you Melody. I don't know. Oh, <laughs> no problem, no problem. I was, I was, oh, I was Kelsey. answering chat while you were gone because I don't want to tackle this question alone. <laughs> Hola, Flavio. Oh, no Welcome. Oh, yeah, boy. so so Kev said, what what do I do if it's a snake chasing me? And then Tadik says, like, didn't you like it, Kev? Didn't you <laughs> like if a snake is chasing you, or or if a woman is chasing you? Would you? Didn't you like that kind of things? <laughs> Who knows? My IQ is 147, uh, though I don't know if we technically met. We we could say that we met, but we had no reason to know each other's IQs. Also, I have no idea what my IQ is. What even is an IQ? I know what it is, don't answer, but, but like, you know, I have no idea. <laughs> Anyways, so how do I tell if I a girl likes me? That is a complicated one, because I feel like... Uh, you shut up, Alarm. I feel like... <laughs> I feel like different girls react different ways, right? 
But mm. and and sometimes people say things like, "Oh, when she laughs a lot at you, at your jokes, um, she likes you." But but what if you're funny? Maybe she's laughing at your jokes because you're genuinely funny, you know? And you might say, "No, I'm not funny. I know that for a fact." But Sometimes we don't know how good we are at something and we just have bad self-esteem. So I think uh, the, the, the best, the safest bet is always seeing how, and, and this is something that I think is pretty universal, you correct me, Mai, but seeing how, how her friends react around you, especially when they think you can't see them. Oh, hi. yes, 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 yes. Because yes, yes, if yes, yes. if a girl likes you, their friends are going to like tease them Easy. for it, or yeah. or like push them to tell you something, or like hint, hint, nudge, nudge. You know, their friends are gonna be the telltale in most cases. Mm. In my mm. opinion. Mm. What about what about you, Mai? Uh, what do you think? Let me, let me uh, answer real quick. Playlock, uh, talk to me in Discord about this, please. Thank you. And uh, I think it depends on the age. Oh, yes. Yeah, because teenagers are built different <laughs> than adults. But uh, how can you tell? I think if, if she chats a lot with you and, and if she does voice... Uh, even voice chat I think that's already a, a huge mm. you know I I don't know I wouldn't agree with that because I've had friends uh, again every girl is different right I've had friends that I I would talk for five hours with them right and and I had yeah. zero interest in them and they had zero interest in yeah. me it was just like we were just literally friends um, right but New people though, new people though, you wouldn't do that. What do you mean, uh, new people? Oh, so like if she talks a lot, even though you've barely met? Yeah, like like if you meet, let's say you meet someone at the bar, right? You mm -hmm. meet someone at the bar, then you exchange numbers, and then you guys start up texting, and then oh. maybe video call, voice call, that, that's what I meant. Mm. Mm. You... I think that's a good sign. I okay, think. how about how about this is a sign? They tell you that they're single without you asking. Oh, 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 oh. Uh. Like they drop the hint. Like they drop the hint that they're single, even if you're not talking about relationships at all. Hmm. I think that's what a good time? hint. Yes, what time? Yeah, 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 I agree, I agree. Uh, something like, uh... Hi, Mambo! Where's your... Hi, Mambo! Sorry, someone joined my chat that barely, that barely ever uh, can watch me because of my normal schedule. Hola, Mambo! What are we talking about? We're answering uh, girl questions. In this case, how do you know if a girl likes you? Hi, hi, hi. Uh, welcome, Otavius, welcome. Um, okay, so for... Um, yeah. I, something like, so where's your girlfriend? Right? Yeah. Girlfriend? If they ask, yeah, if they ask about your girlfriend just to confirm that you're single, that's mm. a sign. That's not a 100% yeah. sign, but it's a sign. It's a sign. Yeah. And Varius says, I am single. Oh, he is <laughs> single. My chat, my chat, everybody, my darlings, you know? Why have a girlfriend if you have mine? <laughs> well, you you do you, you do have a big basement. <laughs> yes, this is uh this is Yandere one on one. Hi and uh, how can I tell if a girl likes me? Mm. To be honest, if it's someone like me, I would just tell them. You're very funny. I like you a lot. Something, something like that. I, I'm, I'm quite. Anor says quite he has a question. Anor, send it to the marshmallow, please. Hi. So please. that we can stay organized. Hi. Oh, Wiz, Wiz said something really good. I would say they make excuses to be around you or touch you. Also, if they start liking things you like. If uh, they okay, start okay, okay. liking things you like, uh, that's that's that. I think that goes back to the age again, 
Because I mm-hmm, think mm-hmm, teenagers mm-hmm, will mm-hmm. do that a lot more. Uh, yes, yes. I think teenagers will... Okay, so here's how I see it. Teenagers, people who are still like developing and growing and understanding themselves, are going to try like liking the same things you do. And then yeah. if, it's, if it's someone older who is a bit more established, a bit more confident, maybe they won't like the same things you do, but they'll but they'll listen to you um, while you explain some stuff or research on their own so that they can talk to you about it even if they don't like it. Mm-hmm. Maybe that's mm-hmm. just me, but I think I think if I was interested in a guy and they were talking about things I don't understand, I would try yes. to at least understand enough to hold a conversation, even if I don't yes. pretend to like it, you know? Yeah, 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 I agree, I agree. Mm. Uh, I was gonna say something. Oh, um, also what I think is different is if you're, if you're, if you live in Asia, or if you oh. live in the West country, if you live in East or West, because Asian girls do a lot of uh, texting. Mm-hmm. So, because I heard, I heard this, okay, American, American if you're around. I heard about the three days rule where you don't text for three days. What? And after that you text. I don't know. I don't know. I saw this. Why? In, I I don't know. I don't know. If it, is it is it like that, guys? For American, is it like that? So you kind of you say hello and then everything, and then you wait for three days and then you text again. Do you guys do that, American viewers? Please let me know. Oh my god, I have a lot of guys in my but chat. For... In my chat, also answer that, please, because I'm so confused. <laughs> mm. Um, for Asian girls. Uh, we so if you like a person, Asian girls would go flooding on text, as in not not in a scary oh. way, but but they would go back to like uh like a ping pong text with them with the boys. I, that's what no I see a lot happening in in Asian girls. <laughs> Duke X. <laughs> okay, then you said um. For me, when girls like me, they start going on hunting trips with me. Too bad I'm a single dozen. <laughs> American here, no idea. I've never gotten a girl's number. It's okay, you have mine. You have my daughter. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. It's, I've never heard. It's okay. It's gonna, it's gonna happen. Uh, Vargas said, absolutely not. Hi, because we're Asian, Vargas. Miguel said, ah, I think... It's like if you are interested in a person, you don't text them until a certain amount of time to see if they are interested. Mm. Personally, I think it's dumb. Flash that I heard something like that to get over phone addiction. Mm. But but women in the country is different, and I don't want to engage with them. Uh, what do you mean, Vert? What do you mean? No, yeah, the, they're saying the same thing here. It's like waiting to see if they are interested, uh, or mm. if you have. Or if you have very strict parents, I guess they're saying, but I don't think so. Um, there's the hard to catch, like pers- pursue, but I don't know. Okay, so so basically, it it sounds like the, the all of the chats are agreeing, right? That it's more like uh, seeing how the other person reacts and if they chase you or something. Personally, I never mm. waited like that, but 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 Dominic is Canadian. Uh, I don't think that's a thing in the UK. Okay, so we're we're getting a lot of uh, we're getting a lot of answers. Apparently, people are not recognizing that rule. I don't follow any of those rules. Oh. Or maybe it was back then, and now it's mm-hmm. different. Maybe. Hi. Uh, some people can see that as ghosting here in the US. Hi. We don't do that in Asia. We don't do that. But what I've encountered a lot of issues. Uh, it's not because of the girl. It's not because of the girl. It's probably you, or maybe. And I think uh, girls from different cultures um, possess different things and traits. Mm-hmm. And if, if you don't like certain uh, traits, it might it might just be the girl, or like it, it just might be her quirk. Mm-hmm. But there's nothing wrong with a nation's female. Right? You can't say. I don't like Indonesian girls. I don't. I can't say that because everyone's different. Everyone has different culture and dialects and everything. It's, you can't say that. 
You can't say that. And so, he said, I got rejected five times. Oh, well, if boy. you got rejected five times, that's not the girl's fault. That's not her fault. So if you're not interested, don't blame the girls. Oh, because. wait, that's, that's a, not our fault, right? That's a question. Did you get rejected five times by five different girls or by the same girl? That's important. That's important to know. Mm. Because if it's the same girl, then just you need to move on. If it's the same girl, you need to move on. And if it's different girls, um, then then maybe there's something that you're doing on your approach. That is like maybe you're approaching them when they don't know you enough. Or maybe they're just not interested and you have bad luck. Or, you know, stuff like that. Also, I have someone who's asking something but they don't know how to send a marshmallow. It's a quick and easy one. Can I can I can I say it? Yes, of course. Anor is asking if uh, if girls like guys who cook. And I, I, I wanted to say that out loud because the answer is very easy. Yes. yes. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Getting uh, first first of all. It means that you're not going, they're not going to expect you as a girl to cook all the time. Second of yeah. all, yeah, that's important. That is really important. And second of all, it means that we can cook together, which is nice. I like cooking with, with people. It's, it, it's like a bonding moment. And third of all, it means that I get to, like, you get to sometimes get, feel like, you know, like like it's a little bit. Of, oh my God, I forgot the word in English. I'll Google it really quick. People, people in my chat who are uh, who know Spanish, I have quite a few. Agasajada. That's what I'm trying to say. You know, you know what I mean. You know what I mean. It makes you okay. feel like agasajada. I'll, I'll look for it. Don't worry. You 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 give your answer while I look for that word on Deepel. <laughs> mm. Hi. So Thelok said here in Nova Scotia, if a woman doesn't like you. She'll outright beat you up. I've oh my been around on many girls who does that. I still have a scar and couple fight boots. How long do you live with a bear? Wow. What? Duke ex Okay, so so my chat, please please be patient with me because I, I gotta take turn and, and we're, because we're talking about many things. Mm -hmm. So I, I'll read the chat for sure, but please be patient. I don't blame them. Uh, I know that feeling. I was rejected by one girl for six years, another one for four years. Uh, uh, Thalok said. Uh, Thalok said. Or if they have boyfriend, you're gonna get really. <laughs> you know, you don't propose to a girl with a boyfriend. Don't you don't propose. You don't propose with a girl with a boyfriend. Why would you do that? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, don't do that, man. Don't do that. That's common sense. Come on, come on, man. Come on, man. Uh, Otavia said uh, cooking together can be fun. Yes, they want to treat you by direct. Yes, in the kitchen, kind of romantic. Yes, uh, Begum said that as a whiz for hire. I'd say people can be attracted to negative personality traits, but that could hurt people. Hi, and uh, look out. Uh, welcome, welcome back. And thank you that I listened to her cooking teaching. Honestly, to be honest, to be honest, I don't mind, uh, I don't mind working and have my guy staying at home and... Oh, spoil! Wait, sorry, sorry, my, my chat is correct in that word that I didn't know. Uh, it's like, mm -hmm. they can, like, a guy who cooks can spoil you with, like, a nice meal uh, on occasion. Oh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, pamper, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, there. Sorry, mm. you you keep saying what you were saying. I just I remember I didn't remember the word, but we have the word. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. I think it's it's nice being spoiled, by pampered by by cooking. And cooking is definitely it's a turn on. It's yeah, totally a turn on. Uh, yeah. It means that you spend enough time, and mo maybe maybe that also means that you've been around your mom or your dad, because you must have learned it from someone, right? Yeah, mm. I didn't learn it from my mom or my dad, but you know, a, a lot of it can be trial and error. Don't worry, guys. If you don't know how to cook, it only takes the the sacrifice of sometimes eating things that you don't like. <laughs> while you while you figure it out, you might have to sacrifice and eat a couple of untasty things, but you figure it out <laughs> with practice. <laughs> 
<laughs> Otavius in uh, their quote, stay at home husbands. Uh, and Dialogue said, no, here in Nova Scotia, women are basically real life monsters, but I do have small hair. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay, 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 thank you for the knowledge. <laughs> Yeah, I, I have a uh, I have this one Indonesian question. Uh, I'll translate it to you, but it's very long, so I'm not gonna put it up in in the in the chat. Okay, re ready it's to very long. ready okay. to hear ready to hear. All right, let me let me read it in Indonesian. First. Yes, that's what I want to hear. Okay, 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 okay. Ah, Akhir akhir ini saya merasa kesepian karena jomblo selama hampir lima tahun pasca lulus sekolah SMK. Oh, berarti kamu 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, dugaan ya. Uh, ketika aku berada di ruang tunggu sidang skripsi, aku itu iri melihat ada yang ada orang mahasiswa atau mahasiswi bersorak karena salah seorang temannya dan lain-lain. Di, di lamar kekasih hatinya buset terlintas di dalam benak pikiran dan hati bergumam selama ini aku dapat apa aku nggak ada cewek no lab ketika ketemu cewek langsung nervous atau ngomong nggak jelas akhirnya aku gagal meyakinkan ia menjadi kekasihku btw aku semai korban ntr ntr tuh maksudnya orang ketiga kan ya ketika smk sampai trauma hingga gak mau cari cewek sekarang Adakah solusi supaya saya tidak bisa nervous berbicara di depan cewek Topik yang seperti apa yang aku harus katakan di hadapan perempuan Adakah cara mencegah NTR Oh ya sebenarnya pendek Aku, se aku sebenarnya pendek jadi takut dihina pendek Oke, okay. okay, there are a few questions here Oke, okay. may I just one, say That was the first time I heard Indonesian I really liked it <gasps> I really like the sound of it. I love, I love, I love discovering, not discovering, because that sounds really weird, but listening to new languages, that was nice. But also, when she said it was a long question, I didn't expect that long a question. Yeah, that was, that was, that was really long. <laughs> so, yeah, he was telling his story about how he's been, uh, he's been single for five years, and mm -hmm. when he was in school, uh, Skripsi apa ya guys? What's thesis? Thesis? Is it thesis? thesis. So like the last year yeah. of university? Yeah, when uh, in the when you meet the professor, one of his friends propose. So he's like, ah, oh, why am I not like in that in that yeah in that situation? And there di tikung, and there not walk the Ravenger God. What do you mean? Can this? Uh, oh, that's my letter. Oh, Muhammad. Hello, hello, hello. This is your letter. This is your letter. Uh, <laughs> when you hear Maya speak Indonesian, it's supposed to be the charm. <laughs> Thank you guys. Um, he was saying that, yeah, so after like that, he felt a bit jealous because of that. So mm. he, he thought in his mind that I don't have... No lap apa ya guys? What is no lap? Aku uh, punya cewek. I don't have a girl. And when I do meet a girl, I'm nervous. And I started speaking things. Uh, something like stuttering, babbling, stuttering. Stuttering is a good Something word. like that. Yeah, and and I, ketika ketemu cewek aku nervous nervous, and in the end I fail to to tell them that I something like I I have feelings or I love them. Mm. Oh, no lap is is no life. Uh, also Rifai, if you want to be called Rifai, maybe you can change your name to just Rifai so that people won't be uh, won't be bingung ya. I think Mai just summoned a demon into my room. <laughs> Various no life, <laughs> Otavius no love, Revive no life. <laughs> Semacam hikikomori. Eh, okay, okay, hi, understand. Um, okay, so and then he said that he's was he's been. I don't know what you call it. In, uh, uh, what is it? An NTR? You know NTR? Yes. Yes. Ne he was a uh, to dare. I think. Neto Mori or something like that? I think it's net Netorare, I think. Something like that, maybe? Well, I know what it is. I, I know what it he, is, but like... Yeah, he went through that in high school. Mm. So he's kind of a bit traumatized with it. Mm. And the first question is... Uh, is there a solution 
how how can I not be nervous around girls? Like, what should he say? How what should we he talk about? So, being nervous around people is something that's very hard to control. You know, um, I think I think that's not so much a a girl question, more like a like a general question, because you can you can be nervous around a lot like. I'm nervous around people. <laughs> mm -mm 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 -mm. Um, however, I think if you're nervous about girls specifically, um, just just be conscious that they are like treat them like you would treat a dude friend, but without being extremely dude-y. You know? Uh, okay. So how do I explain this? When I was younger, I told I told my chat before I I didn't get along with girls when I was very young, so mm. I ended up being around guys a lot. But they ended up treating me like one of the guys, and sometimes they would yeah, be gross, yeah. uh, and they would they would talk about girls in a gross way, uh, and and it was like oh it's fine because you're one of the guys, you know. So hi hi. But but other times they would just like not be extremely like macho money about it, but they would treat me just like another guy. Mm. Um, so just mm. know that if you treat a girl just like like yeah, she's she's just exactly a, another one of the guys. Um, that that way you can stop seeing them as the scary thing, you know, like. You don't need to see them as these scary like girls. Just, just, just see them as another one of the guys. But don't, but don't be gross hi. about it. Hi, hi. I hate my keyboard. Someone said that. I can't remember the last time I had true girlfriend. Uh, fighting experience with the girls. <laughs> I'll not to be nervous around girls. So one step by step, and then green experience. We got all roughness come up. Interact more with girls. Uh, be nice. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, hi. Be nice to them. So, okay, guys. You guys want to cheat? You guys want to cheat? It's for her not to be nervous. Get them a pocket <laughs> get dress or with dress. pockets. Yeah, guaranteed <laughs> that's gonna happen real quick. Okay, to me, to me, to me, this is a cheat. This is a cheat. If you guys want to do, bring your pet. Bring your dog, bring your cat. That might backfire though, because if I'm in that situation, I'm gonna talk to the dog. It yeah, pretty but much but at least, that at that's least pretty much know. it. <laughs> oh. Uh, but uh, if you get someone like me on the other hand, uh you 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 do you just talk to the dog? <laughs> And I talk to the owner, like, eh, man, he's pretty. but because like that's already uh, a, a possibility, that's already a chance. So once you get to talk to the dog, and then you can talk to the girl. But hey, if you're nervous, uh, if you're nervous, if you're nervous, yeah, you just gotta talk more to girls. It's practice. Actually, build, yeah, and build, build confidence in yourself. Yeah, that's actually actually Ma Ma in my chat is saying, it, and she's a girl, so she's 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 answering with us kind of. If you improve yes. your self esteem, you should be able to talk to whoever you want. It's normal to be nervous, shy, or something, and sometimes it can even be cute. Uh, and it goes back to self esteem things again, but but again, it's something that you can work on slowly. It's practice. It's practice. Also, uh, um, also, someone was saying like you you wouldn't you wouldn't want to be around a guy that's also a pushover, but I think the difference between someone who can be shy or something and someone who's like a pushover is uh, again it's it's also self esteem because someone who has self esteem will know like will have boundaries. And they won't mm. say yes to anything, you know? They'll be like... Mm. For example, someone who's a pushover might laugh at a, a like a, a very horrible joke because they don't want to be confrontational. And then someone mm. someone who has more like, like stronger boundaries because they have stronger self-esteem might be like, dude, 
what the fuck? Like, that's... Mm. No. You know? Mm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What do you think? Yeah, I agree, I agree. Well, let me read the chat real quick. Uh, keep practicing, yes, keep practicing. Nice, I have six dogs. <laughs> six dogs, yes! <gasps> okay. Okay, but I'm super horrified of girls because one tried to hurt me with a sword. Now I'm afraid of Yandere. Uh, you're afraid of Yandere, but mine is Yandere. Uh, how? Can you survive mine? <laughs> Will a pet rock work? Hey, oh, freak, welcome. A pet rock? Eh. No, that's not gonna work. Flash it, that's a bad idea sometimes. That's, People that's... will talk to the pet more than the person. That's what Alicia said. Uh, <laughs> bringing my pet, so bring my pet hound of. Tindalus or pet hell. <laughs> Valeria said, I'm just nervous around people I admire. Look, I said, when I'm shy, I can't be those cute anime boys. <laughs> so I became confident. <laughs> Daria said, I've heard that strategy some males use to attract girls. They use cute dogs and walk some high. Uh, yeah, the Ravenger guy. Uh, when I'm around women, I became very shy. Hi. Ah, uh, if it's shyness, then you just gotta have to work on that first. Doesn't matter who you talk to. It doesn't matter who you talk to. And what? Why are you so scared talking to girls? Why are you so scared talking to girls? It's it. You need, you, you need practice. Kiss the you need practice. Oh yeah, to the person who said they would bring their frog pet. That's gonna work on less girls, but it would it would work on me. I, I like all kinds of animals. When I was a child, I tried to have a pet a pet frog. Um, I lived in a in a community of lamias and snakes, so you might imagine how well that went. Mm. But I did try. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, because someone said, but a Disney princess kissed a frog. I mean, you can try to kiss a frog and see if it turns into a princess. I mean, I don't mind it. I don't mind it. <laughs> Wait, my my, you said no. The, you said frogs wouldn't work, but what if it's one of those really tiny frogs that fit on your fingertip? Oh, say no! I didn't say that. <laughs> I didn't say that 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 frog wouldn't work. I didn't say that because oh. I love frogs, but those tiny frogs are cute. I like it. Yeah, so I think I think it would work on some girls. Some some would be like, no frogs. Why? Wait. Uh, Otavia says, wait, Lamia is a real creature? And Otavia said, thank you for reading my letter. Of course, no problem. No problem. Uh, Lamias are monster girls. We're, mo we're monster girls. That's, yeah, monster. yes. <gasps> They're poisonous, Kev said. No, no, if you're immune to poison, you'll be fine. <laughs> so the question here, there's another question here. Is there any way I can... Uh, oh, someone said I would bring a pet axolotl. Yes, absolutely. Have you ever seen yeah. an axolotl? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. Uh, another question from the same person: Is there a way I can avoid NTR? Oh, by the way, um, I'm afraid of being teased because I'm actually short. And hold on, Vigram, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for coming. And I hope you have a good day at work. Enjoy work, okay? Have a good one, okay? Have a good day at work. Mm. Goodbye. Uh, yeah, and how do I? How can I avoid NTR? Mm -hmm. And I'm actually short, so I'm afraid of being teased. That, that's that's what he said. Mm. Okay. First of all, let me answer Mao. How dare you? Frogs are not the epitome of evil. Frogs are cute. Second, um, so the whole thing about being teased. Um, if you're being teased, at least you can know that that's not someone you're interested in being friends with or trying to have a relationship with or even being around. People who tease you when you're clearly like uncomfortable, when you tell them to stop, um, you, can, you should avoid them. Not if they're teasing you and you're like, haha, funny, you know, like it's, oh no, don't tease me, but you're not. But if you set a hard limit and you're like, hey, uh, don't don't tease me about that. Seriously, like it, yeah, like yeah. stop it. Yeah. And if they keep doing it, then at least you dodged a bullet there. Because believe me, mm. being around that kind of person is worse than is worse than just avoiding them entirely. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah. 
hold on Thomas uh, uh, yeah uh, honestly I know short guys and they are fine because they take care of themselves so among anything on top of everything take care of yourself take care of your skin take care of the way you speak your personality and if you can take care of yourself everything else don't matter hmm yeah I think I think that's yeah and about yeah. and about NTR hmm so I think it's I think it's unavoidable in a way like how do you avoid NTR you you find the right person right but that's but that's uh, like that's what you're trying to get anyways right like that's Mm-mm. we're all afraid of being cheated on and we're all afraid of finding someone who will be bad for us um but i i I think it's less about avoiding ntr only and more about avoiding people who will be bad for you um because like i i yeah i would be scared of ntr but it's also an extension of being scared of finding someone like with the possibility of NTR, you mean? Yeah, yeah. So I just, yeah. Like, yeah. NTR is like cheating, right? It's basically cheating. Um, all right, all right. But, but you also don't want someone, like, imagine you don't have someone who's cheating, right? Imagine you, you meet a girl and you're afraid of her cheating. But, but then instead she goes the exact opposite way and she's extremely jealous and she's extremely controlling and she, like, takes your phone and deletes all of your contacts that oh. have girl girl names which i've met Ooh. i've literally met a girl who did that to her boyfriend once uh, we were like you're insane why would you do that and she was like because i'm i'm like afraid of being cheated mm. on and it's like so basically you should you should be oh there we go if you're afraid of ntr learn to recognize red flags for yeah, yeah. for cheating or for other things but like read about red flags yeah. in relationships and learn to recognize them they're they are real yeah. and they are noticeable sometimes yeah uh otavio said first be observant second be assertive and third be the version of you he or she won't be willing to be tricked eh, mm. i don't think that works though yami said just have money no that doesn't work no that, that doesn't, doesn't work, work at all that does no, not work let me let me just <laughs> hi let me thomas said thomas welcome is this your first time here is this your first time here me getting uh... a girlfriend with my pet crab <laughs> i would love that i would love to meet a pet crab are you kidding me uh, hi same same uh um miguel i'll i'll go back there because he said is it normal to feel insecure about being short if people tease you without being friendly mm-hmm. then don't even bother hi that's right i'm afraid of girls because i got attacked by several young data i'm really sorry about that miguel <laughs> said, as for avoiding ntr well that's really hard to answer you'll need to be able to trust your partner hi 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 uh you wh- you, you need to you need though. to research research red flags in relationships and get good at yeah. recognizing them yeah 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 and but with with money though yummy i tell you that does not work yeah that does. doesn't work uh <laughs> hi, a lot of a lot of rich guys they have they they're married right they have wife they normally have another person who's younger mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. i i'm saying this because i mean e- e- as an easy thing uh, uh, not easy thing as an easy example is that i go to the gym and i know these guys who are super ripped and everything like they all have children they all have uh, wives but they have someone else i know that i know that hmm. you know uh, it, it's just uh, we call it hi asuna we yuki welcome it, uh, um, sorry <laughs> uh, no problem no problem <laughs> and cause kasa yokoso yokoso hi yokoso and uh yeah these guys they have money they have money but they they find another one so that's not it that's not it that's oh but i think they're saying that's if they it. are the ones with money they can do the cheating which is equally awful <gasps> yeah yeah well hats that's it hi hats that's it yeah well a lot of it is like that but ntr is inevitable and it depends on i guess you have to you have to just avoid before you even be in a relationship with this guy 
you have to avoid all the red flags, according to uh, Alicia, what, what Alicia said. I mean, I think it's inevitable if the person is the kind of person that would cheat. Uh, it, like, it's, it's, there's nothing you can do to stop it if it's the kind of person that it is. So the best you can do is recognize red flags to recognize that that is a kind of person who would do that, you know? Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, yeah. But even if, even if everything works fine, you cannot avoid this. If, they're, if they just feel like you don't have a connection with them anymore, they're going to find it with someone else. And honestly, relationship is... Relationship is difficult to maintain mm. during your honeymoon phase maybe one year two years it's fine but after that it's difficult it gets difficult because you're so used to 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 you know to one another and maybe you lose the excitement anymore because you know each other you know you know that their footstep and everything and many times you start taking things for granted which is not a good idea but but that happens a lot and uh, so you just stop trying because you know that they're gonna love you anyway you're gonna uh, many stop trying to keep up their romance or the, the, the fun so I guess just having a connection you maintain the connection with that person that's gonna avoid NTR in the first place uh, but I, I do think it's a, a relationship is not like the Disney idea that you're gonna meet someone, you're gonna get yeah. married, it's love yeah. forever. It does take some work to maintain a good relationship. Yeah, 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 exactly, exactly. It, it's hard work, guys. It's hard work and it has to be two people. Mm. Also, uh, someone said mine... someone asked, what is your favorite monster girl? Do you have a ma favorite monster girl? My Mine, aside from Lamia's, is moth girls. How about you? Do you have a favorite monster, monster girls? girl? Yes. Uh, as in VTuber? As in as in girls who are part monster or yeah. What are what are monsters? Uh Loch Loch Ness? Is that a monster? The Loch the Loch Lake Yes. The <laughs> Loch <laughs> Lake Mons. Oh boy, I didn't or, or think that was sirens? so hard to say. Oh yeah, sirens. For what about example. sirens? Yeah, sirens right. count. Sirens. Sirens is your favorite. <laughs> Uh, That's another oh, uh, quick question money answer. Will not, yes. I also have a quick question for yes. you. But money will not grant happiness, but I prefer to cry in Lamborghini than cheap car. Yes, I, I prefer to be rich and depressed than poor and depressed. <laughs> Unfortunately, I also bit a girl. Hi, okay, Monster Girls. Uh, okay, uh, you have a question for from Kev. Mm. Uh, I need I need to go to the bathroom again, but please please answer <laughs> Kev's question. Yes. Kev said, "Where are you? Where are you, Kev?" Uh, because well, you're a, a how do you guys say Lamia? Lamia. Lamia. Hi, you're a Lamia. So are you immune to poison? Okay, let me go to the bathroom. You go, you go, you go. Question. Ah, so I'm immune to most venoms. There are some, just very few, that are actually extremely like for example there are some neurotex to uh, neurotoxins um there are ex that for example there's these nails in the bottom of the sea and sometimes you can find them pretty in like coral reefs pretty close to the surface those have such an extreme neurotoxin that they would kill me in an instant just like a human but most venoms i'm fine i'm gonna take the opportunity to read uh, a little bit more chat hello lunar the wolf boy gamer welcome hi nessie chan yes Loch Ness monster that's what i was struggling with i don't know why um what's your favorite monster girl it's moth girls I have a pet cat, she's very clingy and won't leave me alone most of the time. I joke when I bring a girlfriend home, the cat is going to be jealous. I've heard of that actually happening. Like, actually happening. Um, mine is Arachne all the way, how dare you, you betrayer. Nah, it's fine, don't worry about it, Alex. <laughs> Do you girls like pizza? Yes, that's another quick, that's another quick answer, yes. Yeah, well, who wouldn't like pizza, no? Nope. That's, yeah. And Cookie says our Lamia is immune to the virus. No, I'm not. Everyone, please keep being careful. You know, 
you know uh-huh, about uh-huh, the about uh-huh. the situation in the in the world and stuff. Mm. Everyone, keep being careful about it, please. Yeah, future comments. Okay, there's another there's another question. Do you guys do uh, you girls like anime? Yes, of course. Do you like anime? I do, I do. I like animes. Yes. There we go. Another quick um, question. Okay. How bad? How bad is period cramp? <gasps> okay. They're monstrous, man. I mean, here's here's the thing. It depends on the girl. For some girls, it can be literally like debilitating. Like you won't be able to yeah. move. Um, in my case, I only had I think two in my entire life that were like I cannot get out of bed. Like I can't. Oh move. wow! But but I'm, lu- lucky. I'm lucky. Yeah, I'm really lucky. In uh, generally, it affects uh, instead of being cramps. Generally, it affects my hunger. I either don't want to eat at all or want to eat three times the normal portions I have. That's what normally happens. But a couple of times I've gotten really bad cramps. And when I get them, they're extremely bad. Mm. Mm. How about... And hi, Acha! Welcome, welcome, Acha! <laughs> welcome to the stream! Yeah. As for me, I'm one of the unlucky ones. Oh no. I'm so sorry. Yeah, I... I, I, I drink Panadols every time it happens. You know what's, what's worse is that when I was young, when I was still in school, mm. I would... I would go to the sick bay and I would just sleep there if I do have my first day of period. And uh, sometimes I would throw up because it was too painful. Mm. It was really bad. Yeah. Right now it's pre- still pretty bad, but but when I was younger, it was it was insane. It was insane. Yeah. yeah. Mabel in my chat is saying the opposite that they they uh, wasn't as bad before as they are now. So I'm very sorry to hear that, Maple. Maple. Uh, I don't oh, know what, how no. to say it. <laughs> oh, that's terrible. Yeah. Uh, there's a quick question. Do either of you like kaiju? Kaiju? As in giant monsters? Maybe? I'm not crazy about giant monsters. Kaiju, I guess. I, I don't... Yeah, I, I don't know what they are. Uh, I think they mean like giant monsters. Think Godzilla and mm. and Evangelion and mm. you know like a ah. like 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 a giant monster destroying the city. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think uh, around maybe along with that period cramp uh, question there's another one mm. so it says hold on why, why is it not showing okay okay you see that it's not it says all right i know this is gonna be different from girl to girl mm. but what do i do when it i'm off the month because in my last relationship whenever it was the week i asked if there's anything i can do anything she wanted and she always say i don't know or and so I was just left like that, okay. Okay, this is so different between West and East. Um, go ahead and, and start. I think the first step uh, is what exactly what you did. Because girls, it's, it's like you said, girls are different. They need different things. So the fact that you asked if you could help and how, that is already amazing, in my opinion. And then the second thing is, it's very common. I've, I've never met a girl who would say no to chocolate in that time of the month. Or like, if they don't like chocolate, <laughs> snacks. Any any kind of snacks that they that they like. Mm. I think that's something that always helps. Even if like, even if I'm not, if it's one of those periods that makes me not want to eat at all, snacks is not like as heavy as having an entire meal. So it might be the best way to eat for me if I'm having one of those really weird ones. Mm. How, how about you? Okay, so my experience with... It's just... I, it's different between the West and East. In the West, you don't really talk about period, right? But in the East, you do. Even... Like, a lot of my guy friends are... Uh, <gasps> oh, 
and wait 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 what did you say you i okay? lost you i lost you i i heard a lot of my friends oh, are on, you're and breaking then... up ba. Ba. then i guess eat like devil joe salvi hey i love monster hamza are you are you are you back yes just 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 I restart what you were saying hi okay ah hi hi uh, so I said that the East and West is so different because people here, uh, my, my guy friends are like, oh, my mom's not feeling well because she's having her period, something like that. So, so normally my, you know, my dating experience is that they're very helpful. But I think Asian boys are very sweet when it comes to period. Hmm. So they kind of know, they're like, okay, what do you need? Do you want warm water? Do you want this? So when when you tell them, oh my god, I have a bad period cramp, they're not ill or anything. They actually become very attentive and they they really take care of you because I don't know why, but but they're, that is so they're nice. not very sad about it. Oh yeah. my god, that is yeah, so I, nice. I don't know. Yeah, what do you, what do you think, guys? Because yeah, Asian boys when it comes to your know, period stuff, they're very sweet about it and they're very attentive. So they won't. Yeah, they'll they'll be like, okay, you you better sit. I mean, they'll give up their seat and mm. yeah, yeah, they'll they'll get you whatever you need, something like that. That is. I don't know. What about the? That is so mm. nice. It, it's yeah. That's that's what I wish would happen. Because <laughs> he's, he's the, the boys there don't do that. I mean, it, here's the thing, right? I told you that I was treated as one of the boys when I was younger. Mm. Like they would literally talk about. And this is gonna be gross because it was gross, but even back then they would talk about like the dumps they took. But but if they if they heard the word period, they would be like, ah, oh, you, I don't need to know that. Too much information. What? Why would you say that? It's like, are you kidding me? You were literally just describing your bathroom escapade. It. They're both oh. functions of the human body. Why is one giving yeah. you laughter and another one making you go like you? Come on, man. Anyways, I really wish uh, they didn't treat it as this really weird, gross thing. It's like, we, we're just in pain. We, we're not gonna, like, take you to the bathroom and show you. Like, we're just, we just need a little snack. And a bit more yeah, patience uh... than usual because we're in pain. That's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A little no, bit more patience it. and snacks, please. <laughs> I th yeah, I, I, the my encounter with Asian boys is that they've just been really sweet. Yeah. Uh, Ka said, yeah, whatever she wants, and I can. Mm. And Daria said, I'm not Asian, but I'm like that. I ask girls what they want. And Thylock, let's talk about the hunter in my Discord. Daria now that's just sweet. What, what, what's sweet? Oh, the dicta is. <laughs> Tiberian, you said before. <laughs> you said before. <laughs> what a good trick! Do it again. Well, that was a great trick. Do it again. Here we are. <laughs> My, can you hear Hi. me? I can. I can. Can you hear me? Yes. <laughs> Oh, you've got a few period uh, period questions. We do? Oh god. Okay, it's yeah, it's, this is another it's one. getting late. Let's do a little a little bit of a quick round. Let's let's answer a couple Hi. ones kinda quickly. Okay, okay. Uh The secret to being liked by girls is disappears. You just disappeared from my from my stream entirely. They're calling you my melody the magician. <laughs> <gasps> the thing about being grossed up a period is good for me. Yeah, I also th think so. Okay, uh, let's see, let's see. Uh, uh, since Alicia song is a lamia, do you, do you like reptiles in general? Very good, good question. I do. I love them. Next question. Hi. <laughs> uh, why did you girls decide to be a VTuber? I. I discovered anime and I fell in love with it instantly and then I found out that it was possible to be an anime girl. That's it. It's that simple. I found out, I immediately got on it. How about you? Mm, I... 
well, I, I, the first VTuber was Gura, and mm-hmm. then, and, and then I, the, the pandemic started, and then I had her and Hatama and other girls as my background song, mm-hmm. uh, background sound, and I felt like I was accompanied by them. So I thought, hey, I want to accompany people. I wanted to befriend more people online, and mm-hmm. I think it'd be nice if I can cheer them up. So that's how I became a VTuber. Mm. Next question. Next question. <laughs> Where I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna force us to do a quick round so that I can answer a lot of right. questions before going. All right. Got any favorite male VTuber? Uh, favorite? No. But I'm really looking forward to the Niji and guys. Uh, yeah. Or Holostar. Holostar. I mean, here's the thing. I've seen the most I've seen is Kanae from Niji Sanji. But uh, I I don't watch a lot of VTubers that speak languages I don't understand because I mostly my chat knows this. I mostly watch VTubers while I'm drawing and doing like other work stuff. So I need them to be speaking a language I understand so that I can pay less attention to the stream and more attention to what I'm doing. If I need to read subtitles or stuff, I can't. I can't. Hi. Hi. Uh, yeah, to me it's like that too, but because I'm learning Japanese, I don't mind hearing Japanese. Oh, someone's saying, what? It wasn't because of VTubers, Holo, Holo, Holo or Niji? It was because of VTubers, because that was the first time I found out that it was possible. Before that, mm. it was Kizuna Ai. Uh, that's the, the only thing I had ever heard of, and it looked so high-tech that I assumed only like big companies could do it. And then I found out that it was achievable, and I got on it immediately. Mm, 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 mm. That's nice. Mm. Okay, next question. Next question. Do you girls, do you girls like spicy food? Excuse me, I'm Asian. Of course, I love spicy food. And I cannot take it at all. Uh, not even oh a, no. not even a little bit. Oh no. Yeah, sorry, my, I'm a disgrace to you, okay. but. <laughs> oh, not a disgrace. <laughs> Let me read the chat real quick. Mm. Uh, 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 uh. Can I get a hoi nya? Hoi nya? Is that it? Is that the guy talking about hunting good times? Hi. The thing about me being... Oh. Uh, okay, my melody. I'm gonna get going. You'll see both next time. Happy New Year. We have 2023. You mean 2022? Uh, hi, Octavius and Thaylock. Have a good day. I hope you have a good day. Goodbye. You, you too, uh... Thanks for coming hi. by. Thaylock said, "I'm going to be a VTuber one day." Hmm. Mm, hi. I saw one on the day it runs. Saying, "God, Mosa, I'll become a VTuber." Kaz said, "There are people living in the future." Hi, Cap. As Asian men, I only prefer not to spicy food. My stream is going offline. You are disconnecting quite a bit from eh? me. Also, I have I have a friend Mao who is also Asian, and he says I am Asian and I cannot take spicy food. I will legitimately die. Ah, uh, uh, just a, a technical issue. Hi, hi. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, wait. There's another question. Uh, what kind of skincare do you girls use, and why? Ooh. So the most important thing, and that everyone should do, not just girls. Uh, oh, Dario, have a good day, night. Good, are you leaving? Goodbye. Um, the most important thing is using tons of not tons, but like being very consistent with sunblock. That is the most important one. And then just you know different creams with different like the functions. Antioxidants, mm. moisturizers, but the, the really mm. important one is sunblock. The sun ages mm. your skin worse than anything else. Mm-hmm. Do you do something special? I, I, I actually do. Hold on. Uh, my chat, I'll, I'll, read, I'll read your chat for sure, but, but please be patient because uh, Alicia is, is my, my go off soon. So oh, yeah, uh, I have let to me, leave let soon. Let me just interact. <laughs> Hi, right, let me interact with her for now and then I'll go back to you. So with skincare, it, if you're, <laughs> as you get older, you have to take care of your skin. First of all, you have to, you have to wash your face and exfoliating is important if you have acne. Exfoliating is like scrubs, 
but I I prefer chemical, which is called H A H A B H A. How do I say that? H A A H A B H A, which it'll it, it's it's chemical. So you put it in your face three times a week, and then it'll kind of uh, take away all the. Uh, the comedo, 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 blackheads, all the blackheads, blackheads the whiteheads, yeah. it'll take it away, huh? And then, and then after that, you need, 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 need to use a moisturizer. And on the days that you don't exfoliate, if you want to use serums, that'd be great. So, so, uh, soap, so face, face wash, and then serum, and then serum, and then uh, moisturizer is enough. Is enough, yeah. So, so keep your your face moisted. And sunblock, yes, if you go out, you do need sunblock. But because mm. we're in a pandemic, I don't think we need it that much. I actually use it even for the the like whatever light comes from the screen. So I just I just put some every morning, just in case. Mm. Mm. But it's important, you guys. Something that is overlooked a lot is it's not just what you put on your skin. It's important to eat a lot of antioxidants as well. You can't just rely on creams. You also need to like have antioxidants absorbing yeah. through your actual yeah. like absorption in your body. That yeah, that yeah. made no sense. I'm sorry for saying it that way. But antioxidants, no. eat them. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. If you eat a lot of grease, it's going to be portrayed on your face. So eat healthy. It'll help your skin. Yeah. yeah. Next question. Next question. Uh, what will you do if you're a boy for a day? <sighs> I'm not even gonna lie. Standing. I'm. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, uh, uh, everything that I could do with like a like a like a pee pee. First of all, go to the bathroom and pee standing up. Amazing, wonderful. Yeah. How, how how do you guys how do you guys not constantly brag about it? Actually, don't because we're gonna punch you. Second of all. Uh, <laughs> I would I would want to try and the, I would want to try like how it feel because here's here's the thing oh my god this is I don't want to sound perverted okay but guys are talking about sex all of the time they talk about it so much I have to assume that it feels different than it feels for us because like we're not constantly talking about it so I would really yeah. want to I would really want to try as much as I can uh just to just to know if it's different or if you guys are just so exaggerated about it. Uh, <laughs> you you kids listen to this, okay? You kids listen to this, okay? I'm sorry. I don't want to sound perverted, but it's like no, no, <laughs> but I get what you mean because it's so different, young. Yeah. Like what is it being visual? Why are you a visual creature? Something like that, right? I don't know. I mean, they talk about it so much. I, mm -hmm. I just wonder if there's something to it. Like... Hi, hi. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I think that's all to, to me. But mostly to pee standing up. That's yeah, that's the first. <laughs> actually, 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 <laughs> wait. Have you, seen, have you seen that GIF or that video of the baby elephant who cannot control his trunk yet? No, I'm gonna try to look for it and send it to you through Discord. That's that's the okay. first thing I would do. Just helicopter around, just just helicopter it. <laughs> oh my god! You know, yes. like like helicopter it. I would helicopter it around. <laughs> oh, that, that's a really good one. That's a really good one. Uh, at what time do you have to leave? Alicia? I should leave. I should leave. And like, I, I could do two or three more quick questions. Okay, okay. Uh, helicopter, helicopter. <laughs> what kind of music do you like? That's a question you guys are too afraid to ask girls? Really? I don't know. Really? That's a question you're scared of asking? Um, in my case, uh, it's really we have so many different tastes that it's hard to just define it. You know, you have to you have to ask me group uh, band by band. So you go by. Mm. Uh, I like musical easy. Musicals. Mm, the easy, just use that. Yeah, I like I like musicals. Yeah. Most most musicals I like. 
Uh -huh, that, that's my favorite. Okay, what did you girls do in your free time? Same watch, as you. Watch. I watch anime. Yeah. I play games. More like I watched anime and I played games back when I had free time. <laughs> no, no, yeah, I, yeah, I, I, yeah, st yeah. I still, I still give myself breaks and I play and I watch anime and stuff. Mm -hmm. I yeah, I I watch movies. I watch scary movies. I I play games. I play Don't Stop Me with you guys. And what do I do? What do I do? I sleep. I get. Oh, I go to the gym. I go to the gym. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. Hi. Okay. If you can choose a superpower, what will it be? Ooh. Uh. I already have shape shifting. If I didn't have shape shifting, it would be that. And uh. Mm. So so because I already have shape shifting, a second one would be water control, like in the Avatar, like in the Avatar show. Uh. uh water bending. I would yeah, love that. yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, mine would be something like telekinesis. Audio balance is off. What happened? It was fine before, right? Eh? It was my fine chat, for me. My chat is saying that the audio balance is off. You, you guys, tell me what is what is going on. Meanwhile, you keep talking, Mike. Mm mm. I uh, I would do telekinesis so mm. that I can just summon, you know, chips and if I. You know, a chips or, or my phone. It'll be mm. handy if I can, you know. Bone, come here. <laughs> oh. Uh, oh, this is a good one, actually. Why do girls don't get judged for hugging each other but boys do? I don't know. Maybe because we're more affectionate. See, that's, that's something that has to do with the country, with the culture in the country. Mm. More... Mm -mm -mm -mm. Oh, I'm apparently all to one side. I don't know how to fix that right now. Ish, I know that I fixed it before. I have fixed it before, but I don't remember how I did it. So, guys, you're gonna have to kind of uh, forgive it for a minute. Um, so, in my country, we are a lot more touchy. Everyone is a lot more touchy. Like, guys will hug guys, girls will have got, hug got guys. I mean, for, for, for freak's sake, when we say hello, well, before the pandemic, when we said hello, we said hello with a kiss on the cheek. And yes, you know, some yeah, people yeah. may say that it's not a real kiss, but we're still a lot more, like, huggy and touchy. Um, Hi. So I think that depends on the country. Yeah. In, in my country, nobody judges a guy for hugging a guy. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree. Um, I don't know about here because Asian don't really hugs. Mm. Don't really do hugs. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Do you want to do one more question or? Yes. We're doing right. a quick, quick answer, but but maybe just one more, and then I I leave you. Hi. And I wrap up with my chat. I have to answer so many <laughs> comments and questions. <laughs> Hi. Uh, what should I give for anniversary with my girlfriend? Okay. If it's an anniversary, I'm assuming you know her. <laughs> you for for your girlfriend, he said. If if, you, if she's your girlfriend, I'm assuming you know her well enough to know what she would like. Um. <laughs> in if you want a general advice that I think anyone would like. Would be like a little box or a tin can or, a, or like a jar filled with stuff that are significant to both of you. Like maybe stuff that are about your first date or the day you met or like mm. th things like that as a general advice. But if it's your girlfriend, you mm. probably know her better than we would. Do you have any like general gifts? Otavio is welcome. Hi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Well, of course, a pocketed, you know, skirt will work. A pocketed skirt. <laughs> <laughs> yes, a skirt with pockets. <laughs> Rings would work. Mm -hmm. If you like bracelets, would work. Uh, I guess everybody does flowers, right? Chocolates would work. But chocolate good definitely chocolate. works. Yeah. Unless yeah, she's yeah, allergic. Yeah, what if she's allergic to chocolate? Then, then a different snack. <laughs> <laughs> bracelet, it is. Hi. 
say good night, my my uh, Morabeski. Hi. We have another quick one. Mm, I have so many quick ones. <laughs> I have a lot, lot, lot of questions. What is the difference between what's the difference between a bikini and underwear? Aren't they the same? No, they're not. the The fabric is different. So bikini is is made of uh, what do you call that? L like, like it's a lycra like kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah, li lycra. As for uh, underwear, they're very soft, and it depends. They can do from uh, very high cotton, and then or from uh, bamboo, from aloe vera. It depends what, what you're, and how much you are willing to pay. In my opinion, the only difference is that one of them is like you're used to seeing it in public mm. and the other one you're not. And that makes all the difference. Mm. Like if an underwear had la like, no, if a bathing suit had lace, it would stop looking like a bathing suit. Mmm. And it would start looking like underwear. It's all about like the habit of seeing it. Mm. Mm. When you don't get to see it unless it's with, you know, in a special occasion, mm. that's when it becomes special. And also the fabric is mm. different. <laughs> yeah, yeah. To me, it's the fabric. The fabric is different because I would not wear uh, a bikini for my underwear. It's not. Possible. I know some people who do that. I know some people who do that. I, I would never do that. Because oh no, that would be so uncomfortable. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah. yeah. As mm. as far as how it feels, the the fabric is just different. It's... Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm. Welcome back, Joey Sika. Hi. Uh... Another yeah. quick one. I, uh, do you like older or younger boys? I like the one on my age. Yeah, around or my just age. like what are you talking? Yeah, about? <laughs> two, two or three years older maximum, maximum. But I don't really like younger boys. I think as long as they are like between, like I could do at this point in my life, I would do five, five years, both up, like older or younger. No way. Maybe less younger, maybe less younger, mm -hmm. but like maybe mm -hmm. three and five, you know, just around, around my age, guys, around my age. Mm -hmm. Hi. Uh, yeah. Okay. And, and, uh, uh, yes, mm -hmm. no, I was going to say that maybe that was the last quick question. Hi, hi, hi. Thank you very much, Alicia. This has been really fun and, and time really flew when I talked to you. It did. It did fly a lot more than I thought. I mean, it feels like we barely like we barely got to answer uh, many questions. Because uh, <laughs> it just it felt was fun. It was fun. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And I really like, yeah, uh, I really like the dynamic of us, I mm. think. And then uh, because one, we're, I, I think we can share from our different culture so that yeah, the, the viewers can see you know it's not just like that you know someone from this part of the world does mm. that something like that mm. yeah I, I i totally agree and i had a lot of fun but alas mm. i do have mm. to go mm. not yeah. you chat you have not you chat we're gonna wrap <laughs> up for 10 minutes don't leave me <laughs> Hi, don't, don't leave Alicia, please. If you guys, if you guys uh, haven't subscribed to her, her uh, YouTube is down on my description. And in my description, you'll find my Twitter, YouTube, and Discord. Hi, uh, my will still be here for a bit because it's only 10, 10 a.m. So I'll catch up with you guys. Mm. And we'll sing a few songs. We'll sing a few songs, okay, people? We'll sing a few songs. Oh, you have to sing for uh, the new people. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's what we do, guys. Yeah. Hey, yeah. this was lovely, Mai. Thank you. No, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for making time for me. And, and mm. thank you for making time for me. Hey, since we <laughs> since we haven't tried this too much, um, if you can still hear me after we say goodbye, just send me a message on Discord so that we figure out how to actually disconnect our audio. Hi. I think if we just turn off our Chrome, our yeah, I think so. Uh, I'm gonna close Chrome, and that should be fine. <laughs> Hi. 
Okay, I'll see you soon in I'll, Discord. Yeah, I'll see you around. And then we are connected on Discord, so. <laughs> Hi. Bye. Bye bye. Alright, everyone, give me one minute. And that should be enough to. That should be enough to make it not. Um, not bleed sound. Hi! I'm sorry if I couldn't see most of your messages. I mean, I could see them. I was seeing them. I just couldn't answer because I was talking to someone else. So, let's catch up. Alex, you asked the question. You sent it to the, to the, to the marshmallow and I couldn't see you. Uh, I couldn't, we couldn't get to it. Are you still around, Alex? Um, see Ali? Goodbye, Sorrow! Have a good rest of your day. I hope you have a good rest of your day. Uh, last magic trick? Well, at least this time it was planned. Dario, bye Ellie. Goodbye, Dario. Thank you for coming. Very nice stream. Yeah, it was. I actually enjoyed it. I actually enjoyed it a lot. You took it along well. We did. Um, we unfortunately hadn't had a lot of time to talk before this because, you know, time zones. Jesus Christ, the time zones. <laughs> But it's, but it's fine, it's fine, you know, it's fine. Um, thank you, you too. Uh, thank you. I hope you have a good night. I hope you have a good night. Bye, girls, thanks for the stream. Goodbye, Daddy. I already said that. So, 255 or 245 years old. Well, you know, relative to human age. That's what I meant. I meant relative to human age. <laughs> Give me a second. I know you can see all of this, but... Oh, that's better. Oh, that feels a lot better. Sorry, sorry. Um, time zone are a pain. It, they are. Well, I like her a lot. Very nice chemistry. Yeah, we had very nice chemistry, didn't we? I, I'm, I'm very glad because, as I said, the time zones didn't make it possible for us to talk uh, a lot previously. Like, we have definitely talked before, but not as much as I like I would have wanted but you know end of the year we really had to organize it now because I'm having <laughs> I'm having a week off cookies anyways I'll continue to take care of myself from the virus since now I'm the only one in my family that has not caught it yet yes please continue to be careful also the comment about jeans believe me I read it uh, and you hate wearing cargos I read it all sheesh sheesh <laughs> What's Ellie's time zone? It's GMT minus three, which is a really weird one. But that's how I learned it, and that's the only way I know how to say it. It's EST plus two, basically. Basically. Um, time zones are pain. Yep. Also, Ellie, helicopter it? <laughs> really? Oh, no. Hey, 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 hey. It looks fun, okay? I'm sorry. I, you can't judge me. I don't have one. <laughs> I don't have one. You can't judge me for that comment. Um, is Alex not around anymore? Alex Dyer. Also, I'll take care of my sister until she gets better since she took care of me when I was sick. But you have to take care in very well ventilated areas with a mask on, with a distance. You know, like you need to take care of her, but but taking care of yourself. You never know who it might hit badly. You never know. You never want to go through the the bad parts of it. Um, that's just mean. She's sleeping properly on the right time, not like this guy. Yeah, you are, you are a menace to yourself. You really are a menace to yourself. By the way, uh, did the um, did the audio thing sort of get solved? Because I did play around with I did play around with moving the audio from the left to the right. Do tell me if that fixed it a little bit, or or if it just made it work. <laughs> um. You can helicopter your tail, you can use your tail tip, though. It's not the same, you guys. Are you in Spain or I or ID? I'm gonna assume it's Indonesia. I'm in Argentina. In Argentina. 
which I found out today it's the same time zone as Brazil. Audio is slightly better but low. How about that? I made it a bit higher. Uh, I don't know how... <laughs> I don't know I'm gonna handle the whole audio thing. Uh, thankfully, I only have one more stream before I'm leaving, but I think as soon as I return, first thing I need to do is actually improve my audio setup because uh, the mic might die on me soon. <laughs> um, it got moved to the right, but is it? But is it only to the right now? Sounds slightly off still. Oh, I'm so sorry. Argentina, I'm from Mexico. We have so many guys from Mexico. Bienvenido. Hola. Um, it's the same. Okay. I think my is one hour early for me. So I think you can use that as a reference for future caller. Yeah. Um, but for some reason we struggle. Probably because our like normal life schedules are bad. And living in the US. Cool. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, so it seems like Alex isn't here anymore, so I'm not gonna answer his question. Let's let's keep answering some of the previous questions. I actually don't know how many of them I can access because I don't know how much I can scroll. Um, in British culture, you you hug girls by but handshake guys. If you have close guy friends, you can hug them whilst handshaking. Uh, in my country, we just hug a lot. Like we're very touchy. Like I like we've just we've literally just thrown like guys will throw themselves in bed to watch a movie. All of like you'll see five guys in one bed watching a movie. And that's like I don't know. Normal? Of course not just random strangers, but like you know, people that you actually like know and vibe with. Cool, Argentina is next. Yes, Argentina. Ah, the struggle of friends having entirely different schedules and time zones. Yeah, it's a it's a freaking struggle. I've been I've been fighting it. Not very happy about it, to be honest. Not very happy about it. Ma, a real question. Would you like to be hugged? Sorry if it was a bit intrusive. Uh, I don't like to get hugged. I'm just awkward with it. Also, it's fine. I'd rather be focused on the stream, though. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to put you on a blast. <laughs> maybe the mic cable. Maybe it is the mic cable. My mic stand is breaking on me. It has been for a little while. Um, just the right side is a problem. I want your mic. I'm so sorry. Do you like guys who are good with kids? Example, good with younger siblings or sibling kids. I I understand why some people um I understand why some people like that. I lowered the BGM. Tell me if that's better, Miguel. Um I understand why some people would like that because like it tells them that you're gonna be a good father, you know? Like so a lot of girls would actually really like that, I'm sure. In my case, I don't particularly care as long as you're not rude to kids, you know? I'm not good to kids, personally. Like, I'm not good with them. I don't know how to talk with them. I, like, get flustered and I don't know how to react when they say wacky stuff. But I always try, you know? Like, I, I do my best to... do. I do my best to react appropriately. Um, so I don't personally... Cause I don't have any maternal instincts other than for being a VTuber mama. <laughs> Liz hates kids, got it? I don't hate them. I just don't know how to react with them. And I don't have any maternal instincts. But I do like... I do think it's important if a guy knows how to at least try their best. You know? To be kind with kids. Instead of just being obnoxious about it um i hug and kiss the cheek on girls and handshake guys i'm i'm guessing it's like a culture thing like uh oh no wait you said you're from mexico living in the u.s so in the u.s that's not a thing right huh is it a thing in mexico how do i greet you if you're a snake girl 
Just like normal girls. Just like normal people. Actually, if you're from my country, you will greet me with a kiss on the cheek. If you're not from my country, then probably abiding by your country's culture. <laughs> Sounds better now. Okay. Okay. I saw my sister on Sunday, so I might get tested tomorrow. I think you should. Oh, so it's been Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Yeah, it's 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 a good day to test. I hope it get I, I hope it comes back negative. I really hope so. Uh, keep us posted. Um, I'm not clingy, but I like clingy people because it tells me that they're comfortable around me, as long as they don't invade personal space. I don't know. Like, I feel like every person has a different meaning of clingy. Like, for example, if your idea of clingy is, like, they will get upset at you if you don't answer their messages right away, I don't, I don't like clingy people. But if your idea of clingy is, like, someone who will talk to you and text you every time they think of you, like, that's nice, in my opinion. So, I don't know. It's, 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 it's a case-by-case -case scenario, I think. Um, oh man, imagine Ellie being a VTuber mama one day. Imagine. It's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. You, you, you guys, you guys, it's gonna happen. <laughs> I don't have enough patience, so I'm not good with kids. It's, I don't, I'm not good with kids because I don't know how to answer them when they, like, I've had si uh, siblings? No. Uh, nieces? Nieces. I've had nieces. Right? That that were like, this is, I don't know, they'll say something like, this is my magic sneaker and it can make me uh, step on rainbows. And it's like, I don't know how to answer that. I'll say like, wow, that's so cool. And that's it. That's, that's as far as I go. What am I supposed to say? Am I supposed to ask them questions? What if that puts them on the spot? Like, they're very young and they're developing. Maybe they didn't think that far. Maybe they just thought stepping on rainbows and that's it. But but if I don't ask questions, am I looking disinterested? Am I, like, do I do I have to oversell how cool I think they are? I, 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 I don't know. You know, like, ah, I'm not good. I'm not good with kids. But I try. I think that's important. I think it's important to try. Because in the cheek of a girl is also a thing in America. Well, at least on the southern part of the US. Oh, I didn't know that. I didn't know that. Yeah, my friend's family greeted me like that. Ah, huh. How I greet Ellie is just hug her or give her head butts. Yes, head butts. I like head butts. Don't just give head butts to normal people without knowing them. But if you know them. I, I personally have a friend who loves, like who has asked me like, can I touch, like, can I just touch your hair? I'm obsessed with touching people's hair in general, like head patting and just like scratching heads for some reason. And I'm like, okay, you know, I like head pads. Go for it. Give me head pads. So she, she's weird, but I like that. I, I like head pads, so I'll take it. <laughs> My friend's family, not too clingy, that's just scary. Well, that's why I'm saying, like, everyone's idea of clingy might be different. Oh, I was scared of being around kids for the longest time. It took me a long time to figure out how to interact with them. I'm not scared, but I'm just not good. I, I am afraid of hurting them, their feelings. Or, or like, scarring them in some way. Like, what if I don't react appropriately to their magical rainbow sneakers and then suddenly they develop a fear for talking to people about cool stuff? that they own. I don't know. Like, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> um, oh, also, now that you said that's just scary, someone before asked me, what's your greatest fear? I don't know if that person is still around. I don't know if that person is still around. But I'm guessing they weren't a regular because my greatest fear is supernatural stuff. I know it doesn't make any sense because I don't particularly believe in it. But I can't help it. I'm just so... I'm just so scared. <laughs> um, I was scared of being around kids. All right. At times I feel like I'm still childish. You may be. It's okay. You're still growing. We actually don't stop growing until we're pretty older by comparison of what some people believe. 
Like in my in my Lamia culture, in my community, we precisely don't have an age of adulthood because of that. We 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 value it on like a maturity. You we're like kind of evaluated in general terms. Like you're an adult when when all the people around you and your elders can agree that yes, okay, this this person behaves like an adult. And they have been long enough to be considered an adult as well. But for you as humans, like you have the age, right? You have you have 18 or 21. But like you humans don't stop developing until you're like 25. Isn't that crazy? Isn't that insane? Anyway. I'm also in the south. Miel. Uh, and most girls I know would sucker punch any guy who tried that. Different, uh, different souls, different areas of the cell. <laughs> um, oh boy, am I gonna read this entire username? I think so. Super sexy boy and boy and big up by Neko Mimi Onechan. Snake girl. Hello, I've seen you around before. I haven't seen you a lot. I think you've only been here once. Welcome. I would never forget a name like that. So I know that you've been around. Welcome. <laughs> At times I can show that I'm still pretty childish and it's a little hard to control it. Well, possibly because your brain is still developing. The way humans keep developing themselves for a while. I like to head pat friends and one time I thought I saw my friend who was standing in the school hallway and I head patted them and she turned around and it was my college professor. <laughs> she was not happy. Oh my god. <laughs> Mo! I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry for laughing, but also, lol, how could I not? <laughs> yeah, probably the reason headpads aren't a thing where I live. Hmm. Headpads are god tier. Headpads are god tier. I freaking love headpads. Good, a good headpad? Ah, oh, so nice. I see Neko Mimi in a lot of VNB tubers chats. I, I. That's a name that, yeah, that's a name that's impossible not to recognize. <laughs> Do other people call him Nekomimi? Because that would be a lot more manageable. <laughs> Goodbye and good night, Ellie. It was an amazing stream. Thank you for being here, Sets, and I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you have a good rest of your day or night. Because night. Um, at times I feel too scared to join in a conversation without sounding childish or just stuttering. Well, that's... That's also scary. Like, for some people, it's scary no matter the age. Um, it can be scary. Human, like, person to person communication is scary. I, I'm personally scared of all of you humans, kind of, a little bit. <laughs> I try not to be, but yeah. Humans. Humans, man. Anyways, it, it can be scary. It can be scary to me. But eventually you find those people who you're not afraid of. Eventually you find the people who are, you know, the people who are not scary, who you feel safe with. That's important. Um, it was in the morning with no sleep. Oh, when you did that thing with your, with, when you head patted your college professor. You're looking for excuses, huh? You're, you're trying to get excuses. <laughs> uh, I wish I had a friend to just give me a headpad, but I have no idea how to ask someone to do it and not be awkward. Oh. No, it's okay. I, I had a message on Discord and I was like, wait, has Mai been listening to all of this? <laughs> have I been ruining her stream? No, but it's fine. Um. Nico Mimi Onechan! Head pad is good, but choke us with your thick chunk tail, please, uwu. That's a very weird phrase to put an uwu at the end of it. Also, we are say so on this channel. Yes, we have some moments that are not so say so, but that but but we try to keep it we keep it say so. We keep it say so, okay. Um 
I wish I had a friend to just give me a haircut, but I have no idea how to ask someone to do it and not be awkward. Honestly, I wouldn't. I wouldn't ask if it wasn't for my friend being like, hey, I want to give you haircuts. Like, I probably wouldn't. Oh, that sounded really aggressive. She's not that aggressive. <laughs> Neko, maybe that's a move she reserves for Norse gods. Only Norse, god, only Norse gods that are annoying me a lot because they are being very unfair with their fighting practices. Yes, yes. Um, do it yourself and then ask them. Ah, interesting tactic, Muppet. <laughs> Has it worked for you? <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. No, I get it, yeah, I get it. You go, you headbutt them. You're like, hey, can I headbutt you? And then you headbutt them. And then you're like, hey, was that nice? Isn't it really nice to be head padded? And you look at them. You look at them intently like... Isn't it nice to be head padded? Don't you love it? Don't you love being head padded? Doesn't it feel really nice? And then, you know, if, if everything else fails, you nudge, nudge, wink, wink. Oh, I can't wink. I forgot. Wink, wink! <laughs> oh! Humans. Yes, you humans. You humans are scary sometimes. Tell them good work or something and head pat them. Yeah, head pat them and then just. Isn't it nice? Isn't it nice to be head padded? Don't you love it? <laughs> it feels like it's 3 a.m., but it's only about to be 10 p.m. for me. Well, it's actually about to be 1 p.m. for me, so I really have to wrap this up. It's not about to be 1 p.m., it's like. 12.40, but it's still like stretching it. I, I, if I wasn't for the collab, I would have gone at like 12. Yeah. Um, also, Ellie, please get the sleep you need as soon as you're done. I will, of course. I will, as soon as I'm done, I'm just jumping straight to bed. Just straight to bed, like, 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 like a swimming pool. Straight to bed. Um, yes, very say so. Refers to the helicopter talk. <laughs> hey! Hey! That was say so! We weren't talking about adult stuff. I'm betting kids do that. I'm bet I'm betting kids only do that with their thing. They don't they I, I, I mean I'm gonna stop talking about kids and their things because that's <laughs> I open up. <laughs> it's okay, it's a say so joke. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's a say so choke. I okay, I can handle say so choking, I guess. But as long as we keep it say so, okay? Say so, say so, say so, say so, say so. Say so, say so. <laughs> aggressively head pads. Yeah. You you aggressively head pad them and you're like you're like that feels nice. Doesn't it? <laughs> I think if you do the Londere meme, it would fit you really great. Londere? I've never heard of that. Like, Kef, what is Londere meme? I'm gonna check it. I'm gonna Google it. I'm gonna write it down because I normally forget to check stuff out when I have to track it down on chat. So I'm gonna, so I'm gonna just Londere meme. Then it's written down. I'm gonna check it. Ah. Uh, I also like getting head padded. One time a girl head padded me and years later she admitted that it turns out it was her way of flirting and she blamed me for being tense. <laughs> In your defense, if you were wrong and she wasn't flirting with you, she would be very upset that you were assuming that. So I think you did the right thing. I think you did the right thing. Daniel Mian, welcome, hi, how are you doing? Hey, weird seeing you here. I recognize your name, of course I recognize your name. Hello, what happened? What happened was I answered questions with Melody, but now I'm leaving already. I really don't like to be pampered. I like to keep my space. Well, you know, different strokes for different folks. Different strokes for different folks. PM, it's AM for you, Ellie. No, it's PM. <laughs> it's like 1245. It's not gonna be one. Oh, AM because it's the new day. You guys, that's not how time is perceived by my brain. <laughs> In my opinion, 
Since it's the night, it's PM. Period. <laughs> oh, Daniel Nian. Yeah, Daniel Nian is here. Uh, yo, what? Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I never should have gone there. I never should have said that. <laughs> um, Nikumi Mianechan gently head pat them and whispered to their ears. It's time to pay tax and bail. <laughs> Ellie, you are say so, sus. I'm say so. I am mostly say so. I do have a couple of unsay so things. Like, like, like this. But that only happens for a second. Oh, it didn't even happen. Like this. But that only happens for a second. You didn't see it. Ha! Huh. You didn't screen cap it. You never know. You never know when it's gonna happen and when it's not gonna happen. We're living on the edge. We're living on the edge. <laughs> it takes so if you say so. I mean, I try my best, you guys. I know that this. I know that this stream had a couple of topics that weren't very not say so, but it was just this particular stream. I think the most I was ever read was when my crush intentionally patted my head back in third grade. Well, at least, at least it was a head, a, a nice head pad, I hope. I mean, most head pads are nice. Well, sad, head pad for you. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate the head pad. I appreciate the head pads a lot. Thank you for the head pads. Ah, I like them. I like the head pads. Ah, bruh, then you're say so. No, 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 no. I am say so most of the time. I'm only say so sometimes. Unless you mean I'm say, say so because because I am say so most of the time, but not sometimes. In that case, you caught me. <laughs> Ellie's mostly say so until she isn't. Mostly on accident. It is mostly on accident, though. <laughs> it is. She's getting trigger happy to say so and unsay so. What? Mini no leash? <laughs> I mean, listen, listen. It's a very rare occasion. It happens very rarely. Uh, she didn't get angry. Weird, because nobody, nobody was uh, asking for it in an appropriate moment. We we're talking about say so. So say so, say so, and unsay so. You is in the middle. Oh yeah. I mean, I'm more on the say so side. I want to believe. <laughs> I really want to believe I'm on the say so side of stuff. But, uh, but, but sometimes it, sometimes, yeah, sometimes it, yeah, yeah, you know, sometimes, sometimes it just happens, and, well, it just happens, but I'm, but I think I, I, I gear more towards the, the say so side, um, Ellie say so until she brutalizes something, and Shante, hey, laughing at cool explosions in video games isn't unsay so, I don't think it is. I'm surprised you didn't hear that anyone in this collab stream, Ellie. Why would I? Nobody was messing up the cleaning. <laughs> um, Georgina Clark, your dreams all mine. That that looks like a bot. Let me take care of it. Uh, you guys took care of it. You were you were faster than I was. Um. You're on the cute side of the say so scale. With a with a with a with a touch of say so. But say so is good, okay? I do think so. You know where you know when Zoro I'm going to be more on the unsay so that sorry, on the say so line. It's with cursing. Like curse words, I personally sorry, what are you apologizing for? Stop it. Stop it. Don't apologize. What are you talking about? Um, so, so, the, 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 the place where I definitely become say so is on the cursing side of things. Just because in my country, cursing is no big deal. It's not that it's no big deal. Some people would be like, oh my god, they could be chosen. But it's the minority of people. Most people in my country will curse and it's just, it's just freaking fine. So it's it's hard to control the cursing. Uh, other than that, I think it's pretty fine. Lol, I did a meme of trying to get a headbutt on the Discord. I'm gonna check it out. I can check it out right now. 
What is it on memes? No. In aliens. <laughs> You're one of the one of the greatest memers in like you you and Mal have single-handedly single-handedly fed the Discord. Actually, wait, I don't know. Let me check who posted the freaking freaking tic tac toe. Miguel. Miguel. <laughs> the freaking tic tac toe. <laughs> anyway. Anyway. Yes, cursing is okay. I mean, in my country it is. So it's really hard to control. Um, I mean, Ellie sounds adorable when she curses, especially when she drops an F on. It's hard to control. Memes, you're honest. There's a Discord! Ghost wins. Yes, there is a Discord. Uh, and Tiberian just posted it. Go check, go check it out. Go check it out. Uh, oh no, she's on to me. <laughs> Tic Tac Toe one was amazing. It was. It was pretty funny. <laughs> it was pretty funny. <laughs> Which curse words did you learn first? I can't remember. Like, I can't remember. As I'm telling you, like, in my country, it's pretty common to just curse. Uh, of course, not in school, because in school you get in trouble. But, like, it's. I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't know. I wouldn't know. Um. I don't allow cursing in my house, but it's more because I don't want them to take that habit. I understand. It's a cultural thing, you know? It's a cultural thing. Um, I remember when we were very, very small with my sister. Um, we met we met this friend of our parents for the first time. And this dude, he, he cursed. He cursed every three words he would throw a curse word like he, he wouldn't go one phrase without cursing and my sister was in that stage in life where in school they were really really like punishing kids for cursing so that they would learn because like cursing is not a big deal normally but we are taught more than no cursing ever it's more like no cursing in situations where you have to be professional, right? So like no cursing in school, no curse no cursing when the other adults uh might be not okay with cursing. No cursing when your parents are having a family dinner and like you know stuff like that. My sister was in that stage but she was getting like very like drilled on that. And this dude would curse every three words. My sister was in that stage in which in school the they had them like they had they proposed this idea of the swear jar, right? The amount of times my sister would get super offended about this dude cursing and being like he should put money in the swear jar. He should put money in the swear jar. And everyone else, all of the other adults in the room were laughing. Because, like, nothing happened. It was it was great. It was just beautiful. Um, I'm about to join. Okay. We, we're, we, we welcome you with open arms. Um, I'm not highly offended by it. Hmm. I'm, I'm glad because uh, I might curse. I'm glad that you're not offended because I might curse every now and then it, when it, when I forget to control, when I forget to reel it in, when I forget to reel it in. Sounds like typical Russian swearing. I, mean, I don't know anything about Russian culture, so I'll believe you. Honestly, it makes me disgusted whenever a toddler curses. Really? I find it freaking hilarious. <laughs> I find it really funny. Um, what kind of punishment? Like... They would they couldn't they couldn't have a swear jar. They couldn't like have a proper swear jar because like you can't take money from kids. What the, the frick? But they would have them like do the whole writing several lines. Like you have to write I shouldn't swear in school. Um like five times every time you swear or something like that, you know? Like they would do annoying things that kids hate doing. Um, 
For me, I would allow cursing in my house, but not in public. Yeah, for me, it's about the situation, you know? Um, toddlers shouldn't curse. It's a no-no. Sorry. Sorry, guys. I just... I. Sorry, I find it funny. <laughs> I, they don't understand what they're saying. They don't understand what they're doing. They, they, don't, they don't understand. They have no control. Um, I mean, I don't mind them cursing. Because I did curse when I was a toddler. I don't know when I started cursing. I have no idea. Oh my god! It's five minutes to one on my end. To one a.m. Hey guys, I think we need to... Ellie, you can curse at me. I wouldn't curse at you. I will curse at games. <laughs> I will curse at games. I'm not a rude. I'm not a rude person. I'm not a rude person. Anyways, you guys, it's pretty late. I appreciate the curse curse words talking, but it's pretty late. Uh, my mom slapped me to oblivion when I learned the word. Uh, it's Tagalog, but I know it's also Spanish. Pretend I'm a game. <laughs> Uh, which word? Which word? Which word? I want to know. I want to know if it was slappable or not. Because some curse words are worse than the others. Oh, you're not going to be able to type it if it's too bad because I have I have censored some Spanish curse words. Good night, Liz. All right. Que tengas un buen día. No. Que tengas una buena noche, Oh, yeah. No, that one is bad. That one is bad. That one is slappable. You deserve that one. <laughs> you deserve that one. You, you, you definitely deserve that one. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. You, uh, that, that's a good one. That, and that, by a good one, I mean a bad one. <laughs> that's a bad one. <laughs> um, what about the bread? Yeah, but see, that's not a curse word. That's just, like, that's just, like, you wouldn't say it without context, right? Like, it's not like, it's not like saying fuck, you know, like that's without context. You're not, you know, you don't necessarily say, or like, shit, you know, those are, uh, <laughs> those are like contextless. Um, even, even something like, you bastard, you know, like that. Still, the no-no word, you wouldn't call someone that, you know? You, you wouldn't call someone that. You would have to make an elaborate curse phrase with that. Um, crispy pata? <laughs> it isn't sending because it's probably censored to Ellie's chat. It's probably censored because I did censor some Spanish words. The bad ones. For example, that one. <laughs> Many Spanish swear words aren't like the F words. You don't just use them on their own. Yeah, you have to be a bit more elaborate with your Spanish cursing. We don't have a lot of words that just... I mean, we have a couple. We have a couple. But they're not that strong. They're not that strong. If you want to get real strong, you have to make a, a proper phrase. Right? Um, like, you have to put effort into the cursing. <laughs> But because of that, swearing in Spanish just feels a lot stronger, in my opinion. Like, it just feels... Mm, it just feels more cursy. If I were to say it in a, like, in a way that's gonna make me sound really bad, it just feels better. When you're, like, actually, like, cursing, cursing, like, you're cursing at someone because they are really deserving it. It just feels better to curse in Spanish because you, it's it's the extra amount of effort. It's the it's the extra hard sounds, you know. It's the extra hard consonants. <laughs> oh yes. Oh gosh, I remember the smooth scaly's meme like a few weeks ago. You don't remember. You don't remember it. You don't remember it. You don't remember anything. I don't know what you're talking about. You don't remember anything. Okay. Ah. <laughs> In Mexico, I don't know if it's 
certain Tina as well, but uh, Qingdao is the closest to the F word we have, but it's actually more intense. Actually, I said it without hesitation because for me it means nothing. We don't have that word. I mean, we know it exists. We know that you guys use it, but it means nothing. To us, we just don't don't use it. In Spanish, it sounds 10 times worse slash better. I think so. I agree. Nothing is scarier than a Spanish-speaking mom cursed at you with a slipper in hand. It's, it, I'm, I'm glad we're all agree. <laughs> I can never forget the helicopter. <laughs> I, I hope it's in a good way. <laughs> in French, we have a couple ones that you should never say in public. I'm guessing that every country has that one very terrible one. Um, la chancla, oh my god, not la chancla. <laughs> no, no, Mao, it's called a chancla. Mm -hmm. Elio Yasumi, yes, we have to go. <laughs> Rethink the word. Yeah, that one is bad. That one is bad. I don't want to say it, actually. Amimid, yes, we have to go. We have to go, Amimid. So, um, Amimid, for those of. Oh, Yasumimid. <laughs> so for those who don't know, for those who don't know Spanish, it's a uh, it's a way some Spanish-speaking countries um, affectionately call it like sleeping, like because it comes from like sleep properly. It's dormir, so vamos a dormir. But kids sometimes struggle with saying dormir, so this it sounds more like a mimid, you know, like a mimid. And so you said, like we say, Mimi, vamos a Mimi. That's actually how I sound when I'm very, very tired and I start slurring my words. Like you don't, you don't need to see me drunk. You just get me really, really tired, and I'll be slurring literally every word like if I was drunk. Uh, that sounds cute. Oh, Yasumi is sleep in Japanese, and Mimi is like a cute way of saying sleep in Spanish. Sleep, dormir, Mimi. A la camita. A la camita. It's 1 a.m. Go to sleep. Yes, it's 1 a.m. I need to go to sleep. But thank you for being here today, you guys. Oh my god, that chair made a lot of sound. Thank you for being here, you guys. I appreciate it a lot. Even if it's a really weird schedule, I'm glad you were here. I'm glad you sent your questions. I'm sorry if I didn't answer them. Um, you can you can send them again next time. We're just chatting. Thank you for being here. I hope you have a good rest of your day or night. Uh, don't forget to stretch, drink water, eat, uh, sleep seven to nine hours, and most importantly, be kind to yourself and others. Okay. Sleepy Sally Mia Fan. Thank you for the stream. Thank you for being here. Take care, Snake Shepherds. Hey, bye bye. <laughs>